they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right, guys, we're getting back into the forest mamba. We got the wall up, and let's go back to the beavers. I hate your you you hate your AIO. You have uh, RGB software is broken. Rip. Yeah, five years is kind of near the top end. So because of that, I always buy the same brand. Master Cooler. <laughs> I buy the Master Cooler brand. It works, man. Can't be mad. All in one, zero maintenance. I will say that before I actually got my first AIO, my conception on how liquid cooling worked was completely false. Like, I had some ideas, not understanding that it wasn't as complicated as I thought it would be. That is one thing I will say. All right, the beavers are alive. Let's go. Well, have fun playing the beavers. Aw, dude. Head to a baby energy appointment. Yo, man. Have a good time, Mr. Energy. Hopefully no more PC issues come your way. And uh, yo, man. Have a good day. And a good week, man. We'll see you next time. Mr. Energy, have a safe trip with the babies. All right. So last time we were here, we, we completely bopped the side. And we're just not allowing water here anymore. So that we get the bulk of the water this way. I believe the water is... Oh, it's not high enough to spill. I don't know if this is spilling. Oh, it is. It is. It's spilling off. I wish I could have some uh, visual cues for that. Right, so the water is high enough. And then it's spilling through that. Aw, oh, shit. And then our hydroponic farms aren't doing too much yet. Okay, that's fine. We're growing trees. We're low on a little bit of wood. And then... What were we working on last time? We were demo... Oh, we were... We have to demo the side here. And we're going to move all of our uh, power, power buildings from this side. Over to here. And then that's going to allow us to start doing uh, eggplants. So we have the canola. So that we can make canola oil. And the canola oil is effectively what we're going to want. So that we could start processing the higher tier of food. And start getting all the well-being. That's going to be the play style. We're going to need to bump these guys up. And get them all of the amenities. I'll probably try to do some mangroving too. Alright, so this forester is chilling. And then this is a uh, tap right there. Yeah, so far so good. We're probably gonna have to convert this into a tree space as well. All right, so we do want this the plus one. Oh, we can't reach the other side, so that's unfortunate. I think we'll go up this way. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh... Well, there's already a ladder here, right? Yeah, we'll do it like this then. We'll have to do this so that we could actually lay down some explosives up top. And then we do have extract water. Not a lot, though. Are we making any? We're running two people here, actually. And that's on. Everything's on. Everything shouldn't be on, though. That's probably why we don't have enough extract water. Um... I mean, I should allow that to be a thing, though. Yeah, we don't have power. We need the guys running. We need a little bit more power for this to be running well. Like, we could literally just move one of these out. So that we could uh, build stuff on the other side. It would be fine. So, corn rations. All the food's fine. Oil press is being worked on as well. So, yeah, power right here. 865 688 so we could either increase productivity with well-being or try to get another wheel on this i don't think we get another wheel on this to be honest so i'm not sure how we want to do this we realistically just have to pause something we need the metal for the large barrels right here 
and then we need the gears from the wood shop, and then I need planks to make gears. <laughs> oh man, we're having a little bit of problems right now with the power consumption. I think it's gonna be fine though. Um, I guess we'll pause the food factory because we're stocked on this. How much power does that actually use? 120 horsepower. That's 740. It's still not enough. All right, it's really the centrifuge, man. That sucks. This is 200. That's why. Oh man. You got plenty of space. Yeah. No. So I'm actually gonna move the stuff over to here. So I need the extract though, so that we could demo this part, so that it doesn't have like overhang. <laughs> we halfway there, man. We halfway there with the demolition. We still gotta demo this side though. That's gonna be fun. And then we gotta demo this. We gotta climb up the mountain and demo it. That's gonna be another thing that's gonna be a fun time. We should probably get this out. And then... Ah, I see. We would wanna do this. And then put the bomb there. And then we get a ladder path straight up. That's not bad. So I want to demo this from this path straight out. That's going to be the next thing we're going to demo. Alright, but we want to get this done though. And then once this is done, we're going to need to... Hmm, man, I really do need the extracts. Alright, we're going to just pause the smelter. The smelter is 200 horsepower. That's fine. 4x4? Four four. What's the size of the shaft? This looks like a 5x5. Five five. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's a 5x5. Five five. I don't have the mine unlocked yet, though. This is 4K science. I actually don't have the science to spend on this. Ah, uh, look at that. Not bad. So we only need the shaft space. That sounds so weird to say like that. We only need shaft space. We only need shaft space. That sounds wrong, man. Trust me, though. It's it's kind of legit. Oh, shit. That sounds really wrong. All right. So we're going to get the tier 2 dynamite. And we're going to add this in as best as we can. All right. We're going to go up to this point and then uh, allow that just be mountains. I might actually want to plant trees up here for the memes. Like, that might make sense. Tree planting up here. Yo, I see a Teemo. I see you over there. Be like that sometimes. Be like that sometimes. Alright, we have one vacancy. No, he's not vacant. No, we do have two vacancies. One guy's passed out. Oh snap. Uh, so they're going to be my inventors, right? We have up to three people having a bad time. So it should be okay. Another builder right there. Ah, we can't reach some of the bombs. All right, so here, one, two, three, four, five. So we got to add five tiles. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do this pass. And then we still don't reach. That sucks. All right, let's do two more these two and then we do reach nice all right that's gonna be what we're gonna want to set up we're making explosives right here so it should be fine this is also two out of two we're not running the second one yet 27 bombs we're pretty good collecting the bad water so doing the centrifuge extracts I think we might actually try to mess around with bots at some point. I think we need to. Yeah, we're going to want to. We're going to do it later, though. I need to get uh, the other stuff up and running. So I want to do all the well-being. We have our false wall inside. I just don't have a drop system yet that I do want to set up. Alright, so coffee bush might be something we might want to make soon. Blueberries we have. We don't need too much. 
So this is a tree for wood. We have the pine. The mangroves is going to be what we're going to want. Probably right here. And then we need oak trees. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they'll move faster. They'll be, they'll be happy though. <laughs> Wait. Guys. What just happened? I randomly just have 12 vacancies? Wait, how did that happen? I randomly lost 12 beavers? Wait a second. Something's wrong, man. How do we lose 12 beavers? What's going on, Ace Billable Hero? Welcome in. I see you over there. Running into a predicament. Alright, that was supposed to happen. No, seriously, what happened? How do I have 12 vacancies right now? Five beavers got injured. Wait, how did everyone get hurt? Dude, I went from two vacancies to 12. 10 people got hurt. Okay, let's see what happened. Three people died of old age. Five people got hurt. That's eight people. I still have two people randomly that stopped working. Hey man, what happened? How does that happen? <laughs> Seriously, how does that happen? I didn't blow anything up. I did make some though. But I'm impressed that that many people took damage. Hey man, what the heck was that? Why is everyone getting hurt? I also want to deepen this canal. Yeah, there was two before, and then we had eight. But then I, that doesn't add up to 12. Right, because that's 10. So I'm a little confused why it's like that. Three people died, and then we had eight people, I mean five people. Yeah, yeah, so I want to go up top. Yeah, 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 and then I go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that's going to be tier three. So, gotta do it like that. It's the only way to do it. And then we'll do the mines after we're done with scrapping the towers up here. Not bad, not bad. Oh, this is almost done, dude. Look at the speed. Alright, people are getting better. People are growing up. Nice. All right. So now we could do this. Tier 2 specifically and then we want tier 1 on this. All right. So this is easy. They should be able to just walk from the path. Dude, insurance fraud. The beavers are just sleeping in the medical beds. <laughs> They don't wanna they don't wanna work anymore, dude. The iron teeth are smart, man. They're gonna start pulling some strats like that, huh? They're gonna start unionizing. Gonna be uh claiming stuff and be like, ah oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so I do water I do want a water dump set up, so I'm gonna do this. Fluid dump. So a fluid dump is small, actually. Okay, that's good to know. Hello, mister. Can I ask something related to Oni? I started playing, but the game is stuttering. I'm not lagging. It stutters every two to three seconds. Any idea why? Not a lot going yet, just three dupes. Your game is stuttering. And... Are you on an old save, new save file? Rushdie? I'm imagining you started a new world. And are you playing with any mods?
New game, no mods. Uh, when you do control alt delete, are you having anything else run in the background? Did you turn down your graphics? I've never actually changed my graphics. I don't know if that actually does anything. Your stream is on. That's weird. So you have nothing running. Because that sounds like your windows might be updating in the background. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, to be honest. That's which is why I'm kind of like, you sure you check that, man? <laughs> That's what it sounds I might be wrong. But yeah, Oni is not that heavy, especially when you just start a new world. I would check the graphics, though, just like what Sputz is saying. Uh, the only other thing I could imagine that creates that amount of lag is uh, you've been leaving the game running, even though you're not playing it. Having the game run even though nothing's happening does accumulate a lot of lag on the game. So it's it's hard to say. I would say though, if none of that works, go to Steam, right click properties, go to manage, and then check integrity of game cache or check integrity of game files and try to verify the files aren't corrupted. That'd be the one thing I would do before trying again. If the other things aren't like happening, right? I think this is the spot right here. Well, hmm. I guess it depends where I want this. Because we could actually pull this out a little bit more, right? Yeah, because this is like a weird wall. Whereas I could try to pull out a little more. No, I think this is fine. Uh, I think if anything, I'll do it here. We're going to build that, and then we're going to demo some of this to put a water dump here. I think that'll be the plan. And then we could demo a lot of the stuff. So, this path, and then this platform, we could remove. And then once we get that, that's a straight shot. It's a little bit better. And then we'll just stagger down like that, which is okay. But yeah, rush thee, man. Something's wrong. I will do those things. And then if it still doesn't work, let me know. Alright, we're gonna do a water dump right there. We need to finish demoing this and we'll start moving the stuff over. I like this path. I do think, though, we might have the path go to this side somehow. I don't know how I want to do that yet. I think likely what we're going to do is bop a line of the blueberries here and go straight up to here. Which means I should try to demo this right here. I guess we can. Uh, tier 3. Yeah, we could try to do that if we can. That'd be nice. We would have to elevate again to demo it even more. Oh, this is in. Nice. All right, so demo. No. Platform demo. Stair demo. All right, and then this is going to mean that we get the path so that they can reach all the bumps. I do want to go up this way, so we are going to demo this. We're going to set that up, set that up. We are making... Oh, we're out of explosives. Ah, uh, yeah, we're missing a lot of people here. So it's three, six, nine. Yeah, so our hauling post is actually lacking uh, members right now. I wonder if that was my fault. We did have a small period where we had the pods stop growing for a couple of days. And it's because I forgot to uh, turn on the berry harvester and we ran out of berries. So it's potentially my fault. <laughs> That's all potentially my fault right now. Oh man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. 
really do be like that though sometimes, you just hate to see it. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's start reaching some of these now. And then... I want to say the food is great. Soybeans need a little bit of love. Blueberries might need a little bit of love too. Uh, I'm thinking about this. We don't really have a lot of builders right now, right? Yeah, I don't think we have a lot of builders right now. Like, do we need a, do we need the builders? Is what I'm thinking. I guess we don't need the haulers because the builders are doing the hauling. I guess that means them being the kind of like backup force is probably fine. All right, one beaver's injured, down from 12 to five. That's pretty good. People are growing up now as well. I think we're gonna also want to transition to the uh, advanced pod. I need treated planks. We're gonna try to get that today. Treated planks are gonna be nice. I'll be able to unlock some uh, new buildings and stuff I wasn't able to do yet. Okay, we got that. And we have that. Hey, Nada GG. Coming in with the Prime. You Using it on me. Thank you so much, Nada. I see you over there. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the emote 20 that I had for you viewing. Don't forget that legit sub bat. But yo, appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Of course, Mamba's right there in the bottom right-hand corner. That's my kitty cat. His name is Mamba. And he's the best kitty cat in the world. A lot of times, though, he's going to be napping. So, if you're curious, that's the little babies. But, of course, appreciate it, appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you for the support. What's the recipe for infused planks? It's pine resin. So, this pine tree grows into a tree we chop down for wood. And then, seven days after it's fully grown, it starts making tree resin. We have to build something called the Tapper Shack in order for us to get that. So, we actually got some pine resin right now. We haven't stockpiled it yet. I need to make a storage for it. I don't mind making that storage. But, you know, I got to make that storage. So we got to make that storage. I am thinking I might want a path here. I'm also thinking this might be a path. That makes a lot of sense. And then we have this weird setup right here. Because it's like I don't have anything here that I could actually put. Maybe a warehouse. Double stack it. But yeah, you can see this. The spacing is not right for this design. Because I want to put this out so it connects. And then we have stair access right here too, so it's kind of nice. We just have nothing here as a result. That's not that good. That is not that good. So we need to put some stuff here that makes sense. Realistically, I wanted the large warehouse, but it looks like we can't have that. There's nothing else I think we could put there, right? Hauling post, but that's kind of awkward position. I'm going to be honest. I want something that would be stackable. I guess it would have to be one of the other housing types. Put the small house there. That'd be kind of awkward. We wouldn't need that either. We have so much free space. Um, we could make this the breeding pod area. And put pods underneath everything. Nah. Maybe actually. I don't have pod zone yet. Move the left stairs and a platform that connects to the right stairs. Why not remove the left stairs and a platform to connect to the right stairs? Wait, I don't think I'm following. So you want the platforms here? We can add the platform. That's not a big deal. I just wanted some, uh, I wanted a building here. The warehouse doesn't fit either. I meant the double stairs. 
the double stairs. I don't think I'm following. Double stairs? Next to the road. Oh, the double stairs. Oh, why not have... So this is supposed to connect. Oh, remove this. And just put a large warehouse. And then make them take the right side only. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's probably doable, to be honest. Ah, we could do that. I see you, I see you. And then we'd be able to put the warehouse right here. Hey, all right, we put that there. We could do that. And then this would allow me to pass up this way because then we're gonna go down this way. And then if I put a path here where the corn is, we go up stairs this way or go upstairs that way. Okay, that works. Uh, would it just not fit your style or why don't you decon the free stairs and put the warehouse on top of platforms? Would it just not fit the style or why don't you decon the free stairs and put the warehouse on top of platforms? I'm not following. <laughs> Dude, it's so hard to, to, to like visualize what you guys are saying. Because it's like the words that are like tied to certain buildings, I'm not really making the connection. I see, I, I do think though that this is fine. And you can always add a platform between the houses to speed up the path. Oh, you mean like right here? That is true. We can add our platforms right here so that we can do two floors. Decon the free stairs. I don't know what the free stairs are. And then warehouse on top of the platforms. I want to say this is what you were talking about. <laughs> I want to say that, but I'm not actually sure. All right, we're going to demo this corn. Feels bad. It's fully grown too. It is. Okay, so it, it all worked out, right? It all worked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. All right. One guy got hurt. Feels bad. All right. Why did we randomly just get a lot of injured beavers, though? You know what this feels like? It feels like they patched something. And now the rate of which the beavers take damage has increased. <laughs> That's what it honestly feels like, man. It feels like they patched something and now we're facing the consequences. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Alright, almost done with the bombs. We still haven't done up here yet. And then these aren't in e uh, yet either. Alright, so let's start planning out how we want to do this. So realistically, um, right, there's a path right here. It's most likely we are going to want a path from here to here. Now, I think what makes the most sense is by having a bridge randomly so that the power goes underneath the road. And then I'm gonna want nice straight lines. So once this is done, we're gonna add that line there. And then once the bombs are done, we're gonna remove this path entirely. We might have another path going down though once we get the power set up. All right, so at this rate, we need to figure out what we want over here. So what makes sense is moving the food first. 
So we're going to have three fermenters, one for each food item, one oil press, and then two gardens that won't be here. And then we need three food factories. And then a coffee brewery. Let's buy this. All right, two by six. Three by three. Two by two, one by three. Okay. This is not bad. I have to make sure we do this while the beavers are not nearby. There we go. And the last one, nice. All right. I think we'll put all the food on this side. And then we put all the wood processing on the right side. So this is probably pretty good. And then... This might be better. So that I could get the fermenter on the bottom three tiles. Alright, let me pause. We need to plan this out. So you can't stack these buildings, right? So fermenter, we need three. The oil press, we're going to need. Oh, that's no power here. Oh, no. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, now that's fine. Uh, that connects. Alright, that's good. See, I hate that, man. Sometimes the power doesn't do anything. And it's because of the building type. Alright, Abductor, have a good one. Get ahead to bed. I know it's late over where you're at. So, yo, man, rest well, rest easy. We will see you next time. And, of course, have a good one, Mr. Abductor. Thank you for tuning in, man. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Okay, we could do that. So, the oil press, we only need one. Oh, you could only transfer from the middle. Oh, this one's nice, though, because we could transfer anywhere. Ah, yeah, we could do that. And then this allows me to get another fermenter right here. Oh, that's so good. Right? Look at that pad thing. And then we could just put something here, like a lantern. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably just demo that. And then food factory. Ooh. Is there something else? So we have three fermenters already, one oil press, one brewery. So we would just need the food factories and nothing else. All right, that's a problem right here. All right, let's not have that. There's no power transfer between these two buildings yet. I want this. Oh, can I put this here? No, there's no power transfer. Dude, the food factory sucks. <laughs> Nothing there transfers power, man. All right, so brew three fermenters, oil press, and then we'll get the food factory. This food factory sucks. God damn. Maybe I could bop this. And then we move the food factories here. I guess that's the problem by doing that. The pathing to this is really bad. Yeah, I don't like that. That just fits way too well. Oh, could I do... Oh, I see something we could do. We need to flip the food factory entrance. There we go. I mean, the, the brewery entrance. And then does that allow me to get the food factory here? Aw, oh, man. So I will need a joint for this in every case. Food factory sucks. <laughs> food factory sucks. Maybe we could put power wheel here instead.
I could put it here with some platforms. Actually. I could put it here with some platforms. While realistically, it would be here. Oh, man. Uh... If I do that, I would need this. And that does work. Alright, I think we'll be okay with this. Because then we'll eventually get that. Which means we get this path. One. Two. Oh, we potentially get three wheels here in unison. If I just uh, adjust the path a little bit. Which is not bad. We'd be able to go across with the power here. And then I need to somehow get the power to this side. I could see how we do that though. Wait, could we flip this backwards? That way the power is more direct. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so let's get this one on priority. Alright, speed it up. Injuries on beavers is like a roll of dice every four intervals, if you're wondering. Oh my god. So I just had really bad luck one day? That's that's what you're telling me? <laughs> I just really had bad luck one day, huh? Dang, that's tough. Today I woke up and had the worst luck of all time. And the drought started. I didn't even know we had a drought. All right, all right. This is going to be paused. There's no power here anyway, so none of that's going to be able to work yet. Yep, there are percentages on all the buildings. 12% on some factories are the highest ones. Oh, man, that's tough. That's mad tough, man. I don't think you have much to worry when it comes to water. No, we do pretty good, man. We got the big wall. We got the ocean right here. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to do some strats. I completely forgot. Uh, I needed this. And then I was going to remove the path. Welcome in, though, Sang. Welcome in. Sang Glant. Hope you're having a good one. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to bop this. And both of these. All right, so that shouldn't allow anything through. And then this path is going to get bopped. And I'm going to do a fluid dump right here. So this is going to be how we dump water to this side if we want to maintain the water level. I played this game too much. Hey, man, all good. All good. No worries. I missed it last year, but made sure I caught this one. Hey, awesome, awesome. Shout out to you, man. No worries, though. Catch streams when you can. Appreciate you guys if you guys do come out, though. Okay, so this got done. Okay. This is going to look jank, but I think in the grand scheme of things, this is going to be the better setup. Here, here, and then we get the path right here, and then this is going to be a platform. And then I think that does mean this. Because then we get the wheel right here perfectly. So let's lower the workers here. Preemptively. No one needs to work her yet. And then we got the dynamite. Let's go. 
this is still a tier two setup. Okay. Try to get that in. They have to do it from the top. That's so going to be kind of tough. We won't be able to do it completely just because it's uh, not really clean. And I might actually want to demo this line. We would have to come in from the top. That wouldn't be too bad, though. I already have this path up here. Just so that we get a little bit more for this to line up really well. I think that's all going to work out. I think we could have also just pushed this over if I had a platform here and double platform there. We wouldn't have needed the uh, power shafts right here. And we would have uh, powered this directly, I think. That would have been fine, I think. I want to say this gives me power like that. Oh, I guess I could check like this, right? Uh, if I have this randomly there. Power goes here, here, and here. Oh, okay. So that does work if I wanted to do that. I could still do it because we haven't built these yet. And it's using up all my wood. Oh, shit. All my wood, dude. All the wood is gone. That's right. We are low on wood. Ah, uh, man. Maybe we chop these. <laughs> Maybe we chop those woods. Because right now we are low. Especially if I'm going to do three power wheels like that, right? That's 100 each. Yeah, we're going to have to. Uh, we're not going to need the resin yet, so... This is something we got to do out of necessity. So, we're going to be chopping some trees. We'll have to turn on the forester. All the trees up there are already cut. Feels bad. Uh, let's cut everything on the side. And then he'll just replant the trees. Yeah, I, did, I don't think we would need this. We would save very little... Realistically, we would save very little. Does this work? <laughs> I'm not sure if that works. I'm hoping it does. I'm just going to keep this. It would be nice for us to push it over, but I think this is fine. Oh, I could have also just avoided this by putting a one corner instead of having to put a straight shaft. True. Alright, so we need a guy working here. Nice. Chopping the trees. Got the forest doing his thing. Oh, I never selected any goods for this. So we have all foods, right? Mangrove, yeah, so this would be, I guess this is going to be the berry farm. So, blueberries no longer here. We'll have this guy do his thing. Corn rations, gears, cassava, yeah, those are just random stuff. Alright, we'll move the berries here. Alright, does this mean this is going to be our breeding pod area? We'll just leave it blank for now. Oh, and I have this done. Make that connection. Nice. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Oh, no one should be uh, working here. This is only going to be needed if we need to... Oh, I, would, I wouldn't mind doing this right now. <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing this right now. I need to dump water so that we maintain the water levels on the side. Look at that. Dump in the water. That way we don't dry up on the uh, the side over here. Beaver time. What's going on, Gwenchana? It's beaver time. Alright. I would want to do this automatically with the uh, mechanical one. Is this too much power, dude? 700 horsepower? That's eight beavers. I'll have to be running on the wheel. 
It's gonna be way too much. We'll just keep the one guy active though. Add the water. And the drought's ended. Nice. Nothing bad happens. Let's go. We didn't have to release the water on the side. Dumping the water seems to be okay. We're gonna pause this guy because we're no longer in a drought. All is good. All is good. And these are in. Nice. Uh, this is a tier two. Yeah. Where is the beaver AI? Where is the beaver AI? I don't have bots yet. I don't even have treated planks yet, actually. So we're going to be getting that today. So soon. Not yet, but soon. This is supposed to be paused. We have so much wood, though. This guy is chopping as best as he can. But yeah, we're, we have a little bit of resin, but because it doesn't really have much for us. Oh, we can put the resin here. Oh, heck yes. I can at least start getting some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and these are almost done. Nice. We're going to do this path straight to here. I guess I shouldn't do the uh, platforms yet. And this guy is no longer working because all the berries are done. We don't have a lot of berries, but it uh, should be good. Once we have these regrow, we'll have them harvest again. What are we waiting for? Metal bl Oh, we're out of metal. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have a lot of extract. Let's pause on the centrifuge to turn on the smelter. Scrap metal is going to be fine. So we need metal for these buildings, which is fine. This is going to be paused. Five now. Nice. So it's not that many people now. They're having issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up to seven vacancies, though. I think that I didn't have more than two vacancies last playthrough. And now it feels like I'm constantly at seven plus. Yo, man, what the heck? What happened? <laughs> Seriously, man, what happened? Feels like they uh, changed some stuff up or something. Oh, uh, okay. Can't put that there. So I would need this and then another building there. I guess I could put a wood processing building here. So that it does uh, power transfer. Pass on that for now, though. We're going to build these two first. We're low on wood, so I'm overstretching the resources right now. All right, that still have trees to be cut. These are growing. How long till these are fully grown? Oh, some of them inside is pretty good. 80%. I guess it depends on uh, the trees. I need to also start getting some variety. I should also start growing the mangroves. That's probably going to be on this side, to be honest. And then I need to tear this down. That's going to be fun. Oh, man. <laughs> Climbing up to this is not going to be a good time. All right. Let's get the tier one stuff. Tier two tier three so we can't reach most of that we can't because it's too far we're just gonna do what we can treat planks okay we'll get that and then metal blocks okay that's gonna be the last things we need 
So once we do that, we'll start getting the wood generator stuffs here. So we can't build it, but I want to say this is probably the design. And then... No, I think I have to do something different here, right? Um, I think it's going to be this one. No, wait. Uh... Yeah, it has to come from the middle. So it's either this one or this one. I'll do this one. Like that. And then... This is a platform. These three are gone. All right. It's a weird setup, but it shouldn't change too much. And then another thing is, is that power is connected here. Ah, by putting this here, power is connected. Nice. And then gear workshop could be on the side. Okay. I think that's going to be the smelter. Because it's deeper and that fits a lot better. Alright. I'm also going to cancel this one. Now we have a four space gap. That might be for explosives to be honest. That's a better fit. There's also threes right here we could fit too. Uh, this could be gears. And then... Tree to wood. Oh, tree to wood is deep. Okay. Alright, we'll just keep it like this for now. We'll figure something out for that. Smelter's going to be a good spot. Oh, dude, this is huge. Wait, how the heck? Where's the entrance? Oh, it doesn't require beavers. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of nice. This is just flat science. Oh, you don't even need beavers working here. Oh, wow. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. I see now, I see now. Uh, I'll probably need a second mill. And then I'll get the gear shop. So that's going to be our combination, I think. Oh, I got to pause this. Do you need power? We do, we do. That costs 500 horsepower. So as long as we have power, it's fine. Oh, that's kind of nice, man. It just costs a lot of metal and gears. That's the one thing about it. So getting that kind of early kind of sucks. But it's possible. Oh, we got this in. Nice. Oh, come on. Dude, so close. This corner's in the way. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. But I think we have to. We're going to tier one dynamite right here. And then we're going to move the path. <laughs> all right, so they're going to be moving all to there. All right, we're going to pause. This is a spot, too, for like a statue. That's not bad. Ooh, look at that. Canola oil. Nice, nice. Starting to get some canola oil. Water level on that side is filled up as well. Can't complain. So this is the one square we got to bop. And then I'll start putting like uh, our statues and stuff right here for the decorations. That's going to be nice. Oh, this is in. There we go. So we got to get this so that we could demo that. And then the reason is so that we could bop this corner. 
the things we do just to pop one tile. Have you tried the coffee setup yet? No. I don't have tree to planks. <laughs> like, we'll get some. We're starting to get some pine resin stored up here. But once we get this situated and then we demo everything here, we'll start doing the uh, setups that we want. This is going to be extract storage. Oh, we're not doing scrap metal harvesting. That's why. Okay. So we're not building a lot. So let's pause one of the builder's huts. That way we have free labor. This is up. We'll pause that. We don't need that running yet. Down to four. Uh, this guy doesn't need to plant trees yet. Forester is chilling. There is still a little bit of wood, but not a lot. Is the trees here growing yet? Because once these are grown, we could pause this guy. Oh, oh. Splash. And then... Two. We could take that. I think I do trim this. Just put a ladder there and just start trimming this going down. Nothing else turned on. Four vacancies, three of which are the inventors. Man, we're going to generate no science anymore. You know what's one thing I'm kind of curious about? You don't have idleness in this game. Even though they're idle. That's like the weird thing about that. Like, you'll have idle beavers. The game just never tells you. That's the one thing I feel like could be improved upon for this game. Because, like, the hauling post, right? If they're not hauling, they're just going to have a beaver at the door. Same thing with the builder's hut. But then it wouldn't be listed as idle anywhere. They're just not working. They're doing their job. There's just no job for them to do. So, it's one of those things, man. That's like, eh, that's kind of annoying, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Wish that could be fixed, though. The game condones idleness. Beavers like to be idle, dude. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. We got the injured beavers. Feels bad. Down to three. Oh, look at this guy. He's idle because he has no scrap metal. Feels bad. Come on. Scr oh, that's my haulers. No, I have haulers, though. Hey, what the heck? Oh! I have extra water pumps that I don't need. I'm gonna pause two of these. These are only gonna be if I run low on water. Otherwise, I think we maintain. I think we can maintain with three. I think that's fine. And that's gonna free up some people for us. This is four people building. So that's chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we have no idleness. I mean, uh, no vacancies. That's nice. Uh, we could pause that as well. So this is scrap. Oh, that's why. Interesting. So the scrap metal is being used for the smelter and for the buildings. Okay, we'll have to increase the haulers then. Let's try to dedicate people here. Yeah, if you want them to keep busy, you need to look at the resources gathered available yourself. That's what you have to do on hard mode. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That sucks, man. Yo, that sucks. Goddamn. Uh, so... I have to do some jank like this. Yo, man, they need to make that easier. I feel like that's the next thing they should be adding soon. Statistics. You have like no graphs of the data in the game. And it's like the game has data. It's computing it. It's going through it. Like we just need it available to the, you know, the normal person. And I feel like once they do that, it's going to solve a lot of problems. Alright, so we can't move the smelter. 
Oh, we don't have a centrifuge. Hmm. Uh, so I put that here so we get the path. I don't mind that at all. Oh wait, but it's supposed to be like this because of how I want to draw the power. Well, no, technically it doesn't have to be like that, but this would be a play. So it would be like this, and we would have to draw the power elsewhere. Which I don't really mind. It's just drawing the power elsewhere, that's kind of kind of weird. Alright, let's let them work. That or an icon that they have nothing to do in the building, yeah. That's the thing with that, man. Alright, we don't need the water pumpers anymore. We're back up here as well. Metal blocks, scrap metal, metal blocks, treated planks, metal blocks. Okay. Yeah, it's all metal blocks right now. We scrap it, boys. We scrap it. Two free people. They're hauling. And immediately two people die. Oh my god. We have vacancies. <laughs> oh man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Hey man, you have some free workers. Nice. Let me put them on break. Oh, and two people died immediately. God damn it. Every time, man. Every time. Let's get some berries. So right now it's a smelter problem. I kind of want them to focus on late game more. It feels like it's missing something. It is missing late game more. They need a driving motivational force behind the game. And what I mean when I say that is, is there is nothing to look forward to. <laughs> right? Like, there's no, like, greater good objective that's, you know, driving us to play the game. That's, that's honestly what we need. That's actually the reason why I stopped playing this game initially. This game has a problem with... Uh, like, giving you a reason to play it. That might be the way to, to say. Like, there's no reason to play this game. Old RTS uses monuments and cool stuff. And there's monuments here. It's just that... Like, <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> like, that's probably the way to say it. It's just not enough, man. It's not enough. After you go bots, all you could do is make beavers obsolete. Yeah. It's one of those things, man. It's like... The game is nice. There's a lot of good things going for it. It's just that, man. We don't have anything that kind of makes you want to like keep playing and then if you replay it you're gonna want to keep doing it kind of a thing i don't know man i feel like making maps is probably more fun <laughs> oh yeah give us achievements the achievements are going to be each well-being <laughs> Each well-being level is going to be an achievement, man. You know what's going to happen. Bad water's maxed out. We're going to... Uh, and we're not centrifuging. We're going to be pausing our bad water. Alright. So we have free labor now. They can do the science. Still working on the metal blocks. At least we don't need scrap metal anymore. And that they're going to be able to uh, move the scrap metal into here for us to make metal. That's going to be nice. I guess having a closer path might be better as well. <laughs> Realistically. Alright. 
right, so the dynamite's still being worked on because we need them. Oh, nice. Uh, we do that. We do this. We do that. And then... Aw, snap. We have another drought. Easy money. Dynamite platforms. Shouldn't it be too bad? I should be able to diagonally do that one. Even though it's a little taller. There could be an achievement to make all the buildings function on bots and have a set amount of beavers without jobs. I could see that. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Can we not reach this? We could reach both of these, though. Okay. And then once we build that, yeah, that's going to be a mission. <laughs> these freaking bomb setups. The wood's starting to go up, at least. And we are at no metal blocks. Why does it feel like he's slacking, dude? How come we're not getting any metal? Berries are growing. Looks like we might need some more berries. We can probably pause this guy. Uh, we're not going uphill, right? Okay, I think it's time to bop this then. So let's go this. And then that. Let's try to sweep that. Let's try to put a tier 3 dynamite here. That's actually good enough, and the rest is going to be tier 2. Okay. Let's pick this up. We'll eventually climb back up. Don't know if this is going to be the path, though. Pick up the planks, man. Can we get some plank storage? Nobody. Aw, snap. Come on. Nobody's gonna do this? Aw, come on, man. We have- Oh, the plank storage is maxed out, that's why. Uh, No one's gonna grab that then. Yeah, we'll just have to leave it. That sucks. Alright, bop this. And then we need to do a tier 2. This is all reachable. Nice. Once that's done, we can bop the platform. And then this bottom area is going to be berries. At least some of them is going to be. So far, so good. All the metal is going into here, I see. That's why the metal is taking forever. Power is good, 688 out of 665. Productivity is down. Why is productivity down? I guess we don't have enough uh, well-being goods yet for the people. Oh, wow, that was fast. Not even mad. Nice. And then... Blueberries. Let's go. I might want to do a path here. Or up this way. I'm not sure yet, though. We'll probably leave it like that for now. And uh, we'll have to path up a different way. We'll get up there eventually. Okay, so from these things here, it's the gear workshop and then the fermenters. I could probably get away. Oh, this smelter is not connected though, unless I have the gear workshop there. Yeah, I think we have to demo everything at once because of how the power is being drawn through it. So until this is ready, I don't think we could use that side yet. 
So what do we have here that we don't have there? Food factory. That's really it. And then the centrifuge. Everything else, I think it's over there. Smelter. Yeah. Explosions are here. We're about ready then to move that stuff. And then we have this here too. Yeah, this is faster. Nice. And I guess we should start turning this on. Dump the water, turn this on as a result. Making sure we're maintaining the water levels. Oh, and it's done. Extract water, let's go. All right, so let's get rid of this. They're gonna move that to here. And then once this is done, we're gonna demo the box. Let's go. Planks and gears for everybody. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so we did want power this way. Alright, it's going to pull it through the building, which is why we have this design. We were going to have another food factory like that. Right, and the power... Oh, I can't build... Oh, no, I can. Yeah, it's built already. The power shaft. Yeah, it's already built. Okay. Okay. So it would be like that, and then the centrifuge would be like, oh, we'll do it like this. That way we don't need anything in the middle, and that works out. Okay. We're going to put it here. I haven't unlocked it yet. This could be here. I feel like this makes more sense, though. And then the treated woods on this path is not that bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Tappers, gears we have. So all that's in, all this is in. Centrifuge we got. We will need our pods. And then I think we're good. We get a dirt excavator. So we can start building terrain blocks. That explains why I didn't bring it. Yeah, the, the coffee is the only one we needed though. We're waiting for metal blocks though. That's what we're bottlenecked at right now. You don't have the metal blocks. A little unfortunate. Okay, I don't think we need any of those. And that should be everything we need outside of the engine. So that means everything else would probably be science-based. Or well-being-based. Mud bath, motivatorium, the wind tunnel. Oh man, exercise plaza. Got to start giving them the amenities. No, you missed a crossword. Feels bad. Mean hat. Meanderer. Yo, man. It was a tough crossword today, man. You missed out. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the crossword was, uh, you know, this is crossword. It wasn't uh, like super exciting or anything like that. Just normal crossword today. But it was April Fool's. So maybe you did miss out. <laughs> How are you, though, Mean Hat or Meanderer? Are you surviving today, man? I know a lot of times today is a deadly day. People gonna get got by the Gotham jokes. You guys know how it is. Gotham. Classic shenanigans. Uh, yep, we're just gonna do this like that. Two days in a row feels bad. Don't worry, man. You'll get it next time. You'll get it next time.
Yeah, I work in a bank. We don't joke a lot. Ah, yeah. <laughs> be like that sometimes. Be like that sometimes. It's probably smart to be like that. I feel you, though. I feel you with that. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. But yeah, man, you gotta watch out. They're fools, man. You gotta watch out, gotta watch out. I'm gonna pour me some coffee real fast. Mamba's up, licking his hands. I see you, baby. Gonna get some coffee. Delicious, delicious coffee. Good times. Just kidding. You don't have enough money. Aw, dude, that's rude. <laughs> that's rude. Oh, man. Hey, man. Can I get approved for a loan for a million dollars? Yeah, sure. Let's come this way. And then out of nowhere. Yeah, just kidding. You gotta get out the bank, man. <laughs> I can't even imagine telling something like that to someone. Hey, can we get a loan? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> it's like, oh, damn, dude, that's messed up. <laughs> that's messed up, man. I'm also thinking this might not be enough. I might want uh, another water dump here. So I'm going to set that up. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'd be messed up, man. But that's the best place to troll people in April Fools. The skit from South Park. I didn't see that episode. I did not see that episode, man. Feels bad. The only thing I know about South Park is like a handful of episodes. Oh, this is not supposed to be on. We can actually make the treated planks, but there's no power yet. Yeah, everything is waiting for my metal blocks. Okay. So, these two food factories aren't a big deal. Oh, uh, Smoking Kitten Hippie. I have a question. I know you said you're a pro at this. So I have a couple of questions. And my question is, do unbuilt buildings transfer power? <laughs> do unbuilt buildings transfer power? Ah, uh, too bad. It's the one where people deposit money to save up and the catcher says a bunch of stuff until it's gone. Oh, uh, no, they don't. Oh, damn. So I actually have to build everything out. Oh, what a travesty. Oh, man. What a grand travesty. All right, we're going to pause this guy. Let's get a water dump on the side. Looks like we might have to turn on some water pumps. Oh, the drought's over. Let's turn off the water pumps. We'll just keep four. We're going to pause the fluid dump, though. Oh, and it's clean water, not dirty water. Holy crap. Just add a temp wheel. Yo, man. Maybe. Oh, you know what I should do? I should just put wheels here. And then just have the power come down. Dude. I could do that. Dude, I should do that. We could do a, a, a path to bring the power downstairs. And then just put wheels at the top where the water is spawning from. But that could be additional power. And then we run the wheels here as drought power sources. Yeah, maybe we could do that. That's probably smart. All right, we're not going to dump. So we're going to pause that guy. We have three free. Uh... All right, so I think that means we're going to need to make a power draw. And I think the good spot for that is right here. So what I mean when I say that is, is that I'm thinking that we could put a power uh, socket that climbs uphill so that we get to this height level. So 
that would mean we would be doing power sockets, like the high up shaft like that, so we could climb up. So we'll have that set up. Um, we'll do this. And then we're going to climb up this way. Uh, yes. And then I have to demo. No, we won't demo. I think this is smarter. And then I have to do that. That, that. There we go. There we go. Buildings transfer power upwards? Really? Do all buildings do that? <laughs> so I know you could stack buildings. Why not go to the side? I don't want the path to be too long. Wait, hold up. Yo, the warehouse don't transfer power. So this doesn't do it. Uh, I would imagine housing. Oh, it does. Houses do. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, you can put a factory on top of a house and power and lead to the house. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's interesting. The storage doesn't seem like it works, but the housing does. That's interesting. That's actually kind of interesting. Oh man, I'm dedicated to this build though already. I don't want to change the build anymore. Dude, I have I have like 150 housing right here. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna move away from that, right? Let's go on, Mad Life. I see you over there. Welcome in. Hello, hello. How are you? How are you? Coffee is so good, man. Oh, it's just really slow to do scrap. Alright, let's have someone do scrap from here then. Might be something we want to try sometime. Yeah, probably in the future. Right now is probably not the, the idea for that. Alright, we're going to change this. I want bad water here. I don't want to get the next storage though. We don't have the metal for that. All right, two scrappers. So hopefully we get more metal as a result. To transfer energy, you don't have any curves. Do you transfer on top of the mountains? Uh, the only thing you have is the uh, the up down for the transfer power. So you could climb up like a staircase. But it's like Minecraft. There's no diagonal, uh, like wires or anything like that. Everything is tile to tile, right? So it's like I have to go like this, like like in Minecraft Redstone. You can't go diagonal with Redstone. Be like that sometimes. Alright, we're getting the metals now. Alright, this is a little bit better. Not bad, not bad. So we're waiting for the metals. That's going to be accumulating. It kind of sucks, though. We got to wait. Alright, so we do have this built. So how do I want to do this? 
realistically, I think we repath this way. So that we could build this with the, the idea in mind. So the power shaft was this. We wanted that, right? The transfer power from there up top. So from this height level, it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so I will have to do triple dynamite right there. So I should be able to reach. And then I will connect this. I actually want to redo this. I do. I want to push this up one tile so that this is a straight line. And then I could put like a lantern right here and a shrub right here. <laughs> I kind of want that, man. I kind of want that. It makes me want to demo this side as well. Oh man, yeah, I want that. Let's demo this. And then we have that entrance. That's gonna be a shrub. Little pain, gotcha, gotcha. Hope you are better, yo man. We just do the best we can, right, Mr. Mad Life? Sometimes that's all we could do. Get the level twos. These are level threes. And then I guess we could try to do this one right here. But yeah, just trying to do our best. Take it easy a day at a time. All right, get those two. That's two elevation tiles. Yeah, yeah, it's two elevation. I want to demo some stuff, man. We really need to get this. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. All right, so this is ready. Uh, two, that means this is three. Yeah, we're gonna trim this down completely. Demoing the mountains. Let's try to get these set up if we can. Nice. All right, so then this setup was supposed to be like this. So this was the tree to planks, and I wanted it here. Nice, so we have two open spots now. Those open spots are gonna make it so that the decorations are a little bit better. This will be lantern. And then this is gonna be statue. So this is making it so that everyone that walks down this path gets it. We'll run a bust on the side. Uh, this should be fine. And then we'll put the shrub on the corner. Okay. And then we get the brazier. Brazier is also a 2x2. Two two. Okay. So we'll just put that here. That should be fine. Did you win yet? Yo, man, the beavers are alive. Does that mean we win? <laughs> if the beavers are alive, does that mean we win? I'm not sure how this works. What's going on, Spots? I see you over there. Oh, the food factory is done. Nice. All right, so the last thing is this, the coffee brewery. Oh man, all right, let's up this if we can. We have all the materials, which should be ready. I wanna move so much of this stuff over, man. Technically, we could move the smelter, the mills because these are connected. 
So I'd be able to move the smelter and the mill, but then I would bop this fermenter. Ninth Ward point all. Yo, man, he moves sometimes. What's going on, C-Roy? How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. I see you over there. Man. That's so much water. Dude, you gotta have water, man. You gotta have it. I wanna make sure we're stocked. I wanna wish I wanna make sure this is water world. What do you do in a world filled with water? You drink it, man. That's the only way to do it. Alright, so we gotta demo everything here. Yo man, how are you guys? I see you guys over there. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Alright. We're gonna start playing some mangroves over here. The mangroves are gonna be nice. So mangroves are the trees in the water. I don't know if they could be planted on the lower section. I'm just gonna plant them on the top section. I see you over there, Zoo Hybrid. Alright, so I do want this on. There's just no power. So we're going to have to pause it. Water works. No thanks. Too much to drink. Yo, man, it depends what kind of water it is. Depends what kind of water it is. Do I want to bop this one? We could keep it, I think. How did you end up handling bad water at the end? We handled it at the beginning. So we have a triple floodgate system. And effectively, only one of these need to be open for all the water to drain out. So when it's a bad water season, we just shut this gate that feeds into us, and we open up the other side. And then it floods off the map. So effectively, we're not really too worried about it. For that reason, of course. Okay, so now this is going to be there. We're going to do the upstairs shaft setup. Uh, I could walk around... Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't plan on having anything there, though. And then we have upstairs shaft. So we're at one, two, and this is at three. So it's here, and we need a demo by two. I do also want to trim this down just for the aesthetic. All right. We're going to want power from here if we can. Arguably, we're also going to want this. So that we can go down to this level. Not going all the way that way. And then we're going to have to go into the water. Alright. That's getting set up. Splash, splash. I wouldn't mind doing this. Dang. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that wasn't enough. Oh, oof. <laughs> Alright, we need one more level here. And it also looks like I need to do this. What's going on too legit? Liquor's going all the way this year? E it depends, man. It depends. <laughs> a lot has to go right for my Lakers. They have a chance, though. How are you doing, though, Krug? Hope you're doing well. I see you over there. The thing with the Lakers, man, is 
it depends on how healthy everyone is. And then I feel like everything has to go right. I mean, you could say that about any team, though, in the league right now. Well, any team on the West Coast. East Coast is a different story. How you doing, though, Krug? How do you feel about the Lakers? Oh, that means we're going to need this. They're hot and cold every night. The thing about the Lakers is that... It feels like they could play any way they want. And that is potentially why they're not that good. Because they don't really have a identity. It's weird. Because it's... Lakers were a top defensive team. And then now they're a top offensive team with no defense. It's like, how does that happen? Right? And you have a defensive-minded coach. It's just, it's really weird, man. It's, it's a lot of, like... I really don't understand what's going on. And I think there's, I think there are some real problems there. Wait, wait, wait. So we are at one, two, one, two. So that's four. Okay, so this is three. Oh, do I want to go up this way? Ooh. I'm contemplating that. Because I might not want to demo this. No, maybe we do. Yeah, maybe we do. It's probably fine. You need more wood? Oh, we do. We're chopping wood here. I could turn this guy back on too. I feel like NBA's three-point shooting contest, Lamo, blame me if I'm wrong, is what Lakers need, I guess. The Lakers are... Sh man. The Lakers are weird, man. I don't know whether or not the team has good chemistry. There are times where I see that the team is going well, and then there are times where I'd be like, I could clearly see that there's a little bit of lack of chemistry with the team. And I don't know whose fault is it, because I want to blame the coach, because this is usually a coaching problem. And... I think because everyone is not actually on the same exact page, I don't think they're going to win this year. Like, I think there are some cohesion issues between certain players. Can you not go up in a 2 by 2 pot? No, you can, you can. Too much spend time together or op opposite? I think the players aren't working well with each other. I think that's the problem. Because I feel like... I mean, I, I can kind of see why. Everyone on the Lakers is kind of like trying to play for themselves. Yeah, that's what it kind of feels like. And because of that, it makes it like, kind of like selfish basketball. Like everyone's scoring though, though, that's great. But there are times where you could kind of see like something bad's happening. Okay, so we got this. Uh, so I am gonna do a corner. And then this is gonna raise. And then this is gonna be a platform. And then this is gonna raise. And then we do the double plat.
and then after that I think we just take this and then this is a corner and then we just go through that way all right not bad dude by the time we finish this everything here is going to be done <laughs> oh man and it's still this problem not having the tree to planks i guess it's fine as long as we can make the tree to planks we'll be okay so i'm asking for a leader a man can make the work same side all the time the problem is is that the coach isn't being the coach they need It just, like, it feels like the coach might not be taking his job seriously from times to times. And it's it's hard for, for Braun to get everyone on the same page all the time. Because there's times where we'll see issues with just players. Players are at the same spot when it's like, no, man, you're, you're supposed to rotate. And he's like, no, 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 I'm staying here. And then it's like, why are you moving? And it's, oh... And it's like, there's a lot of, like, weird things with that. That shouldn't be happening, you know? Just running a play. People are on the same page. Alright, so now we have that. I want to get a platform here. But yeah, it's hard to say, man. Hard to say. Uh, power... Right, so we will go here. Eighty three sixty. 720. I guess we could try to set up like this. And then we would want this in. And then realistically, these are all platforms. Because of how power draw is going to have to work. This has got to be a corner. And then we could build this from underneath. Right? Because we'll be able to have a path in the water. Yeah, 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 so once we get that, it should work out. Oh, I don't have this path. There we go. Too far until we build this, I think. And then I could build the ones close by. Yeah. Nah, man, I'm not a good coach. I don't know enough about the game, dude. I can't say. The, what I could see... Like, like, how do I say this? If I see a problem, it's very blatant that it's a problem, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like the idea that, you know, if I see a problem, let's push this up. Like, it's, it's a big problem. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. If I see a problem, there's a big problem, man. Bad tide started. Let's push this up to two. Push this up to one. Push this to zero. Push that to zero. Yeah, it's obvious. Yep. So it's like, it's not that I'm very smart or I know a lot about basketball. It's just more so that if I see it's a problem, it's a pretty big problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I can tell 
you fucking up. <laughs> like, it's that apparent, man. That I could be an amateur and tell you that you're messing up your job. Timo got it. Timo got it. But that's, that's how it feels like. Oh, wait. That means I shouldn't build this yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, no one built the stairs. No one built the stairs. Build everything else. I don't have power hooked up here yet. So while we could build stuff like a decontamination pod, we're not actually ready for that. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's build, you know, the power spine and all the platforms first. Don't go into the water. Just avoid the water. And yeah, let's pause the build, so we'll just don't build that. Alright, four days. So this is how we deal with the, the bad water. So we have our clean water tank. We just hold the water here and we try to survive. And then uh, the bad water just routes out. So it's not too bad. I'm going to be getting some free power from here, though. It's going to be nice. I don't think you actually get a lot of power, right? Because the speed of the water doesn't increase till it gets down to here. <laughs> Maybe I should try to get power down here as well. And try to connect the power sources. I will consider that. More rapid, more power, yeah. And not only that, um, double water source. So more water pushing through this way, the faster the flow has to be. Welcome back, Mr. Energy. Hope the baby's doing good. Oh, the baby's sound asleep, man. Gotta hope for some uh, easy times with the babies. Alright, the metals are doing good. Everything's looking great. Explosions. Okay, so we're not exploding stuff anymore. That means it's my time to shine. We gotta keep making explosives all day, every day. Why? Because we need to trim off the side of this mount. Alright, that's a 1. That means this is a 2. And then the 3 is right behind it. And then that's a 2 right here. Alright. Try to do as best we can. Aw, snap. Mr. Energy. He's uh, 13 and a half. He's out. Explosions are good, just not in your pants. Aw, dude. You know all about exploding in your pants, huh? Changing diapers all the time. It's probably always a mess, I would imagine. Oh, look at that. It's free power. Can we just get the shaft made? Right here. Let's be tight. We just need to get the shaft made right here. So we're going to put this socket here after everything else is done. Should be fine. Should be fine. Two and a half days. And then it's funny, man. This this last centrifuge is the only thing that's stopping me from having power for the uh, freaking workshop. And then we'll get the treated planks. Uh, I can't wait. Give me my medals, man. We have it. We're making it. We're right there. Five more. Ooh, so close. Ah, oh, man. Alright, so I think from here, there's nothing else I could build from the side, unfortunately. They might just have to wait. Because I don't think there's anything we could reach anymore. feels bad. Two vacancies, which is all good. Not getting power yet. I guess we could try to put a path in another spot. I wanted that though, so that we go underneath everything and just build. I guess we could argue we want a path on this side. People are gonna try to build this, but we're just gonna pause it right before they can build it. Because we might need to be able to reach 
uh, the left side. Might be also be able to put some more uh, power wheels over here. Oh, it's done? We just need to build it? Oh, man. We don't even need this anymore. Wow. I mean, it's fine. Free power, right? Frees up some of the labor. Can't really be mad about that. Nice. Aw, oh, dude. Alright, so now... I could turn this on. If I turn that on. And then how much power is this? 250 horsepower. Alright, that's three of these guys. Aw, oh, dude. 69, 100, let's go. Oh, we get treated planks. Yes. We're so ready. Oh, we don't have the... No, no, we're waiting for materials? What do you mean? Oh, no. We have tree to planks, dude. It's it finally started. Uh, wood is okay. We'll have to cho uh, chop those trees. I'm gonna pause this guy, and then we'll be able to start demoing the side. Oh yes. Um, I'm also gonna consider putting a gravity battery right here, even if it's temporary. Right, we're gonna have to put it here, even if it's temporary. Put a couple of these. Oh, this is only too thin. That's not bad. Uh, have this entire area just for gravity batteries. It'd probably be better here, though. Because it's a deeper fall. Alright, nice. We could do that now. That's doable. The bad water's already gone. Let's wash it out. Dilute the bad water, push out the bad water. So this is where we got to just push out all the bad water, let it rock. It's getting diluted. It's getting diluted. So I'm going to push all the water that way by raising up the skate. So that's going to force the red water that way. And then my beavers. Why are you guys not working up here? Okay. All the priorities. Y'all got this. Alright, so this is also down. We want to just drain the water here because this is dirty water. Okay, leave that at half. This is all clean now. So this gets pushed up. This gets pushed down. Uh, we'll leave that up as well. And then the water is going to flow this way. This is going to be 1.5... This is going to be at half. We didn't have to dump water, so that's nice. At four pumps, we're maxed. Okay, let's pause one. Eight treated planks. Nice. We're getting there. Let's go, beavers. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. Oh man, three hours per log. That's tough stuff. We're at 12 though, halfway there. And then we're waiting for these guys to do all the jobs. All the hauling. I guess we don't, we could have the other builders on it. Come on, beavers. Oh, that's going to be a lot of wood. Oh, I got to turn this back on. We're not going to have enough wood, man. This guy's idle. Oh, it's probably because we don't have wood storage, even though they're using it for this. Yeah, it's a lot of traveling, I think. Just logs everywhere. Ninety-two. 60 storage. We're going to have to get a large storage for that. Large log piles. 
They need to make, like, water-safe storages. I feel like that'd be kind of nice in this game. Storages you'd be able to put in the river. <laughs> Maybe that's something that's too much, man. But I feel like that'd be kind of nice. Uh, could I move the gravity battery somewhere else? Like, move it out to here. Drop all the way down to the bottom. That way we could not burn off the power, even if we overproduce it on the wheel. That could be kind of nice. Oh, we would have to change up some of the gears here for that to work. I guess that'd be okay. Yeah, I gotta do the center first. I think that works out. And then... Uh, this should be ready. Uh, yeah, it's time. The big demolition. It's time, boys. The big scrap. So all the stuff is going to get sold. We're going to get some resources back. And then we're going to turn these on. Alright, so we'll do lumber, gear, smelter. Uh, this guy's almost ready. Oh, why is this paused? And then this is going to be cassava. This is going to be soybean. And this is going to be... We don't have mushrooms yet, and that's paused. Oil press. And then centrifuge doesn't need to be on yet. You could hit enter or you hit the delete key to enter demolish buildings and highlight the whole area. Oh, nice. That's a cool little shortcut. That's a cool little shortcut. All right, so we don't need scrap. So we're going to pause the scrap flag. Oh, we're starting to get some power now. Dude, let's go. 688. Wait, how come there's no power transfer here? Wait, hold up. How come there's no power transfer here? Y'all see this? How come there's no power transfer here? We have the spot. Oh, wait, no, that's in two. Wait, what? How come the power transfer doesn't go through? Is some, am I messing up something here? That's clearly there. That's clearly possible. They're both the same. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. Only beaver power. No, no, no. This is on. Wait, how come this... Oh, I see. This was rotating, but it wasn't connected. Ah, I see what it is. Yeah, yeah, so the power wheel was rotating these gears. Not these wheels were rotating these gears. I see it now, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, because I saw these cog wheels turning, that we were jetting power from the wheels up top. 
And I was wondering how come we weren't getting additional power. And I was wondering what that was. Mom was awake. He's going out to sunbathe right now. The little baby sees that the sun is out. And he's going to be sunbathing for a while. Alright, so we have enough power. Mom was on a coffee break. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? You see these cogs turning? I was like, wait, how am I not getting power? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how was I not getting power? I am West Coast. Mamba is uh, catching the sunset right now. Yeah, man, gotta be cozy. Okay, so I was just being crazy. So we do get power here. And the power does transfer. Power does transfer. It is. This is getting power. 250 out of 250. Then we have these right here. Everything is getting enough. We're, we're saturating it. So everything is getting power that needs it. This is the only thing that's not getting built, though. What's going on, man? We have the treated planks. Oh, it's because I upped the wheel priority. They stopped building this. Oh, man. That's my bad. That's my bad. I needed this just to transfer power. Yeah, but we have the treated wood right here. We have seven. Oh man. Yeah, we'll have it soon. We'll have it soon. Feels bad. Up the priorities. Let's go. 1525. That's all we need. 19. We're going to hit 22. 24. Twenty-two. We have we have two here. Twenty-three, and then it's gonna go up to twenty-four. There it is. Ah, oh, yes. And now we have power here. Let's go. Now it's we need more power. So now we'll turn this on. Uh, two people at least. Seven. We probably need a third guy. Eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we need these wheels next. Okay. That's going to be next. We're also going to want the haulers to pick up the items. So that's going to be resources. We'll easily recover. And then we'll have this. Almost ready. We have power. We just need to get some of these uh, cogs turned on. This is really the one I need the most. How come it's equal priority, but they're building the wheel over the platforms? That's the weird thing right here. Why is it going to be like that? Why can't they just build this first? I thought this is closer. That was the last one you prioritize. Oh, because I prioritize last, that actually matters. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's build this out then. That water wheel is done. These are going to get mid priority. Gun Griffin, what's good? I see you over there. How are you? How are you? Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. Gonna get our beaver some power right now. So if you place wheels first, then do the shaft. They'll do the shaft. Okay. And it's priority. So whatever you priority first is what they'll do first. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Let's go, let's go. Jesus Christ. I see you over there, Gun Griffin. That is an insane level. I hope to one day be able to reach that. Now, the first three wheels are going to connect here. But if I put the uh, the gear here, I can't walk into the water. 
<laughs> so I gotta build this out first, and then I have to break the path and put this in last. Alright, so we're good here now, right? Yep. Rip this guy. There we go. But you can walk over a platform and back. The thing about the gear, man, feels bad. Jesus Christ, I see a gun griffin. Big streamer, man. Big streamer OP. I will one day hope to be a big streamer like that. Right, I'm thinking about adding this right here. I know that corner might not get power. This probably will, though. These two probably will. I'm probably going to put those there. Alright, so now we're generating power even at night. We're generating 450. Nice. Alright, so we could probably pause one of the wheel runners. Yep, 1,000 power. Let's go. That sounds like they're watching, like... One of those like like tournaments or something or maybe the streamer was playing in a tournament that's what it sounds like let's get this in though so far so good so what else do i not have here the explosion factory uh, we don't need power for the mine. We have the centrifuge. We do have... Dirt excavator would be something I would need to actually add power to. Outside of that... It's science stuff, right? For the bots. We don't have the statue yet. No, man. We don't have all the resources yet. We still gotta get it. We just got the treated planks. We just got that, so... We're gonna have to, uh... Get the remaining stuff still. So we could probably grab the number cruncher. And then there are things like the bot factories and stuff. The kitchen is already here. We have all the food buildings here already. So there's three food factories. Oh, I could turn this on. Uh, so we have corn rations, uh, mushrooms, and eggplants. And then we have three fermenters. Uh, soybean, cassava, and then this one is going to be mushrooms. We have the brewery. Actually, we gotta pause this because uh, we don't have coffee beans yet. So all the food's already here. Uh, the other foods that we would need would be to grow the mangroves, which would be here. Oh, he was a dev. Interesting. Gotcha, gotcha. Yo, man, dev streams. Insane. Alright. We're gonna want to get that in with the logs. That's gonna be more power, of course. That power is not bad, man. And I'm not even using engines yet. So our power is good. 664. We're able to power pretty much everything. Yeah, 1350 out of 915. Everything that we need running is, I think, running. I guess we could turn on the centrifuge then as a result, since we have the power. The food factories can't turn on. The second lumber mill is only if I need more planks, but we're keeping up with it. Coffee, because we don't have bushes, and we do not not have mushrooms growing. We don't have algae growing either for the algae rations. And then we're going to start growing eggplants soon. So it looks like the power is transferring through, so I'm not really too worried. It's just weird that it doesn't highlight. Oh! Oh no! I didn't have a road there. Oh my god. Good eye. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I didn't even notice I was missing that right there. What the heck is that? Oh my god. I was missing a platform. The path right there was debating me. <laughs> they don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Alright, I'm gonna buy this. Because we could actually just put this next to the uh, factory right here. And it's like, no problem. 
and then it just pulls power for science. And then we don't need inventors anymore. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. Okay, so... That's more or less ready. It would just be bot stuff that we would put over here for the uh, bot parts, recharging station, and all that. So that's going to be fine. That looks funny, though. Beaver's going back and forth to the next door. Hey, man. Be like that sometimes. All right. Should be good. The water's going down slightly. I don't think we need to change that up too much. All right. Did we do the demolition on this sign? We tried our best. Oh, they're still doing it. Not even mad. Not bad, not bad. Just doing some demoing. And then it looks like... Realistically, I want to trim this right here as well. And that's a tier 3 dynamite. Okay. If I can, I would want to do this. I could reach all. Nice. What's going on, Battery Smooth? Hello, hello. Welcome in, welcome in. So I do want this path here. Just so that we could demo everything. And I think I would have to reverse demo this path. So that we could reach everything. <laughs> so bam, 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 here, here, here. And we reach everything else. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, and then we'll have to demo the path backwards and start trimming this flat. There we go. We're gonna be carving the side of that mountain so that we grow our uh, coffee bushes right there. Uh, and another thing I wanted to do was the dirt excavation. I'll probably go over to like a random landmass. Oh, I should do it here. I wonder how smart would that be? You do the dirt excavation right here. We make a giant hole and then we drain the water into the giant hole. <laughs> that way we get a water storage, just in case. And then we'll do like a huge wall on the side that releases into this or something. Yo, I could see that happening. I could see that happening. And it's close by too, by moving the dirt excavator right there, that it wouldn't be a big deal. I would probably want to use the mechanical fluid dump for that then. That's eh, probably fine. Alright, so this is built. Let's get some more power on this. Oh, I don't have the large wheel. I feel like I should have built the large wheel. Support it from the side. Oh, you can't have these. Wow. Wait, what? How does this work? Wait, is this too deep or something? The water has to be too deep for this. Oh. Wait, I can't even put it here. Oh, it has to anchor. Oh, I think I get it. It has to anchor. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I see. All right, I can't use that then. <laughs> I can't use that then. Oh, it's bad time. Okay, that's fine. I still get power. Uh, let's build this then real fast. Let's get some extra power. 
then everything here is going to be good. Uh, number cruncher. Alright, we'll build this. And I think we'll put it like that. The number cruncher, man. What a building. Eight, twenty-five. They're getting that done fast. Let's get another one in. So that one will be built first, and this one will be followed up. Alright, now everything here is good, right? Alright, so that means it's time for us to demo this side. Uh, first thing we're going to do is landscape. We're going to hit him with the tier 1 dynamite. Let's go, let's go. Mechanical computer. I dream of seeing one. It doesn't need the water to be that deep. It will still work if the water is less than a block deep. It just needs to be anchored higher. Oh, I see. But doesn't that mean you lose power if it's anchored higher than where the water is? You do, right? That does cause power loss or efficiency loss. I would imagine it needs to. Otherwise, it's not really going to be balanced. Kenny Dave, my grandmother's job was computer. Oh man, that, there's a joke somewhere in there. Power is just a water flow. Depth doesn't matter. Oh, depth doesn't matter. Oh, that's jank. Oh, that's jank then. This causes like unnecessary headaches. It does give you a lot more power though, 270. I still haven't noticed any difference. Oh, okay, interesting. Alright guys, I gotta pee. I have to be right back. I have to make it before the bad water. <laughs> BRB y'all, I gotta pee. Alright guys, this is, this is, man, so I peed, I just realized while peeing that I gotta poop, but I know we got the bad water season, I'ma hold it out, I gotta poop right after the bad water, <laughs> uh, snap dude, it's gonna be a dangerous game, can't trust farts anymore, mom was cheering me on, we gotta hold it out boys. All right, we got to build this, man. They're not building this. Don't you hate it when number one calls for number two reinforcements? The two to one special? Yeah, man. It'd be like that sometimes. Hey, man, your map's looking pretty impressive right now. It's not bad. It's not bad. I hope my beavers actually build this fast enough, though. It doesn't look like they are. My bad, Leo. My bad. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Uh, we're going to have to pause this. No one build this anymore, please. Because it's going to be bad water season. Just have them focus on that instead. Okay, so bad water season. Let's get that ready. Point two. 
So, Stratus fall up the wall, we'll have to flood. Now, the good news is, is that if this floods, it floods back over to the inside. So it's kind of a meme strat. I don't think it's going to flood anytime soon. Uh, let's raise this up, though. 2.5 water is going to accumulate here. And then that's going to flood on the side. Yep. And then we're going to do 2, 1, 5. Have the water drain my way. The tide started. Full wall, full wall. No wall, no wall. All right, don't flood, just drain. All right, six cycles, that's fine. Too much water temporarily. Bad water is low. I wouldn't mind turning this on. Uh, we're getting power here still. Oh, look at that demand, 1,500. All right, let's turn this one on. 1490, 1615. Yep, and one more. There we go. And now we're good. Okay, so everything should be fine. Oh, nice. There we go. Getting some of these set up. So that we can get our platforms. There we go. This is ready. Nice. Splash. Let's go. We're going to be doing a coffee bush right here. That's going to be the play. Coffee bush strats. Alright, so this bottom route's no longer needed. Capri wins, how you doing though? I see you over there, hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. We're also gonna want the, oh, this guy's in the way. Wow, it's rude. All right, we're gonna bop you, man. All right, so we need this bottom path. All right, and then this is gonna mean we're gonna want to landscape all the bombs. And we gotta go up to here. Nice. Push wheels are pretty bad use of beavers, aren't they? Uh, they were consistent, though. <laughs> They're consistent. So, effectively, it's because we don't have enough wheels here to draw power. And it's also because of this. Number cruncher a little bit strong, I will say. It uses up a lot of power. If I turned this off, I would be able to turn off some of the wheels. But we gotta do what we gotta do, man. To supplement it. We gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, so now I need to move my explosion factories. These are big longs. So that's gonna be kinda tough. Uh, how do I wanna do this? This wouldn't be bad, and then I'd be able to do something like this. Because the power is on the side. Alright, so we do that. And then it goes like that. So we get the explosions here. We'd be able to put two. I'll just keep one, and then we could bop the slime. And the materials would go our way. Oh yeah, I should put the battery up here. I was thinking about that. I was thinking though that moving the platform, like all the platform to here, <laughs> do a long drop from this height to that height. Because <laughs> if I don't do that, I just do it here. We have what, six tiles on the side of this hill. I was thinking about putting two batteries here, here and here. But then I was like, dude, I should just build out platforms and like drip it down to here. <laughs> oh man. Put some TNT under them too. 
Oh, and keep keep making the battery drop further and further. I don't need the batteries for now, though. We'll be fine. It's because uh, we're not really like generating enough power anyways for everything to run. Dude, at nighttime, the number cruncher still works because there's enough power on the wheels. Nice. So this is working 24-7. That's really legit. So you need to build them as high as possible and blast out as low as you can. Yeah. I don't need the, the batteries yet, though. We'll be fine. And then once we get the factory here up, we're going to bop all of these. We're going to be out of bad water. Oh, yeah. We're pumping now. Oh, we would need the third guy. Because we wouldn't have uh, enough for the centrifuge. Right, let's bop one guy centrifuging. We don't need two people on that. We could argue the same thing for the planks. We'll just need one plank guy for now. Alright, it's not bad. Uh, this means that I could go for the adults, right? Yeah, we can. Wait, oh no, we... Smelter is on. We do have scrap metal, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go for the advanced pods. So we are going to give birth to adults instead of babies. So they don't have to grow up anymore. You just go straight into the adult life. So this is extract and beavers. So instead of water, it's extract. That's not bad. Save on a little bit of water. They still need berries though. It's the only downside. Berries are at 300. Alright, so this area is going to be the eggplant zone. So we're going to remove a lot of the campfire stuffs from that area and put it somewhere else. And then the mangroves that were supposed to be here. Oh, this is nice. All right. There we go. Gotta connect everything as much as we can. Just so that we can build everything out. We're low on explosives right now. Oh, everyone's injured. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. We have eight people injured. God damn. During the bad water season, too. Uh, we haven't dumped water in this side. I can't tell how much height, but it's not low, though. It's not that low. It's getting l less than half. I wouldn't mind dumping some water there, but we only have a day left. We'll be fine. Yeah, cranking up the sides. We're at 2k already. Okay, so the other things we wanted were... Oh, the hauling post here. Oh! That's why. Oh my god. Yeah, that's why. This is active. So it was taking five people at a time. Oh, I see. I see. Alright, so this is a double box. Into a triple box. And then I wanted the builder's hut here. Hauling post builder side. And then we're going to relocate that hauling post and then this builder side. Nice. Oh, this is active. Okay, so that means we don't need this guy anymore. That's going to be his last explosive. Oh, no way. Right at 99? What a travesty. What an actual travesty. I can't believe he done this to me. What an actual travesty, man. All right, we're going to put this here for some bad water. We're going to bop the medium tank. We have one down there anyways. Let's bop this path. Let's bop that path. That tight end's nice. Uh, we need to clear out the waters, right? So we need to do a clean out here. And then clean out that way. So the water gets stuck right there. That's where you actually have to push this up. And then the water pushes this down that way. And once this pushes out all the way, 
we're going to lower this down all the way. And then all the water drains out. Clean. All right, so we're going to push this up. Push that up. Push this to half. This should be at 1.5. And then everything else should be okay. This is going to go down to half. Yeah, should be good. A little bit of the water is low. I'll turn on the fourth pump again. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're safe. Guys, I got to drop the kids off. We got to drop the kids off, boys. I wish we could do a permanent camera angle like this. It looks so much better. But guys, I got a beer beat.
snap. What are you guys doing? We back, we back. Spamming all the emotes. I see you guys over there in chat. We back, we back. Sorry about that. I had to drop the kids off. And it was gross, dude. I'm not gonna talk about it though. That was pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But we're alive, we made it through. Okay, okay. So we still gotta move a lot of the stuff from this side. The bombs got done. Nice. Still trimming, of course. We're probably gonna trim all the way in. Uh, and I'll probably have to come in from this side. So we have to get rid of the planks on that. Uh, okay. I guess we will be making... Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing something like that. So we have storage here, right? Uh... Okay, so that's a double plat setup. And then this needs to elevate. Yeah. All right, so that's an upstairs setup. Oh, so I have to cancel this. Because of how I want to do this. Okay. And then this is a double on the side. Ah, I see. All right, so we have to bop the water path, basically. Uh, basically, I can't have them go this way. And they have to always go here. Okay, we're going to have to bop the water path. Oh, no way. No, <laughs> I bopped my only no. God damn it, dude. Ah, oh, god damn it. Not like this. See, I hate this game because there's no undo button, and like I need a delete path button. Yeah, I get it. There's layers, but that's mad annoying having to go down layers every time. God damn it, man. Oh my god. See, I would have bopped so much. Oh, that's so annoying. So the layers don't matter. Can we get a demolish pathway tool? If the layers don't help with the demolition, what's the point? Like, what's the point of this? I have to click each path individually. Someone told me that this would work for the paths. Oh my god. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. God damn it. Nope. Yep, you have to click one by one. Nope. Oh, man. How has this not been fixed? You know, I could see a lot of people not playing this game because there's a lot of small things like this that shouldn't be in the game still. Like, I have to be completely honest. I have to be completely honest.
this is one of them like this should not be in a game uh, you could scroll all oh, the scroll is slow Some people don't beaver like it is, but it do. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Ah, oh, man. I don't think the devs expect that many supports. Damn, that's tough. Oh, man. You went full Ewok village? I mean, yeah, but if it's possible, it needs to be considered, right? Because you're making a game. How do they not consider that? That would be a travesty of an oversight. Even if they don't expect people to do it, they need to be prepared for it. Like the grand scheme of things, realistically, like, it's really their fault. Right? Like, that's really all it is at that point. Because that's not an excuse for the devs. That's actually an excuse against the devs. I think it's an oversight, to be honest. The path only the looter tool isn't hard. If I recall the code correctly. The thing is, is that... I've been told that my problem that I'm talking about has been solved. I don't know if the devs even know that's a problem right now. I've been told that issue has not been an issue and it's been it's been solved before. That's why I'm a little bit like, you know what the heck, man? I've seen the dev call leads. They absolutely have that many platforms. <laughs> the devs got the platforms too, huh? They're not messing around then. Uh, I guess we'll do this. And then this is a double dynamite. I think I do need to do this though. What's going on, Sketchy Player? How are you? I see you over there. I just demolished the bridge accidentally. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Otherwise, you're doing all right. One of them cracked 10,000 bots in one colony. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of bots. <laughs> That's a lot of bots. Goddamn. Oh, look at Mamba. He's up and about doing his things. All right, so we're doing good up top. The power's looking all right. We're going to be uh, dealing with this side and trying to bop as much as we can. All right, so there's the storage here, some of these items. We're going to move the storage up to here. So there's going to be some setups for ourselves that we're going to want to do. So it's going to be a lot of platforming here and that we're going to need. And then we're going to have the uh, ladder platform set up right here. Right? So since I want to be able to cross right here. I want that pathway right here. Maybe we could do the same here, to be honest. So that becomes a double plat. Oh, and that's that's flat with this. Yeah, that could be not bad. And then we do the single plat for the stair setup. And then we would get double plat here. And then we'd be able to stack warehouses. Dupes, dupes do the darndest things, man. The dupes are, um, they're good at one thing. Getting into a place they're not supposed to be at. 
Somehow the dupes are really, really good at doing that somehow. I don't know how they're that good, but they are. They're just that good sometimes. Sometimes they really just be that good. Alright, this is a four tall set. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I will do this then. That's probably likely. Oh, you're asleep right here. It feels bad. Oh, and this one is ready. Nice. Alright, I think we're going to end up having a staircase up this way. Because I'm probably not going to have a path right here. We're going to try to keep this all like coffee bush. And then... Hmm. I'm thinking about the... Is bad water is good water? We need a tribe that does that, man. No, the bad water's chilling. We have some bad water. I need to make one of these. Oh, we're just short on planks of all the things. Uh, let's change this to planks. That should help us out. So I need to get a log storage. All right, so let's start getting some storage buildings. How do we want to do this? I think we end up with a path right here. It just makes a lot of sense. So I think we will do that. And then we'll do, ooh, large industrial pile. I feel like that needs to be on this side. So we could easily just climb up. And then we put the large warehouse on that side. And then this is going to be logs. <laughs> and then we'll remove the log storage from here. Going to get that started. We need a lot of wood, man. Tree resin is good. Metal is good. Planks is struggling. All right, let's go with the double planks. The haulers, are they the lowest priority? That should be who we should be at the lowest, realistically. And that, oh, this is still running. Oh, this was not supposed to run. Yeah, we're done here. All right, we're going to have free beavers now because they're not going to have to work here anymore. Also, we have to haul everything. Uh, do you know if the bad water veins in the land harm beavers if they walk on it? No, they do not. It kills plants, though. That's what the cracks do. So these cracks don't do anything to the beavers. These cracks kill plants. Uh, so you know how when you have dry soil, it's dead? If your plants are on this red crack, it dies immediately. So that's the thing with that. So it's like extreme. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I'm playing right now and I built a huge platform dairy and didn't he? Oh, you were scared of the cracked earth. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch. Yeah. It does make you think that this will, like, hurt the beavers. But no, you didn't need to. Unless I'm just wrong and you actually did. From my understanding, you don't. But yeah, I might be wrong. <laughs> From my understanding, you don't need anything with that. I think they get contaminated rarely. Uh, I haven't had that happen. But then again, I'm like really, really far away from any of the cracked red anywhere. <laughs> no, I guess no. I'm actually constantly in the red right here. And it's been like that for about a dozen cycles where I'm constantly sending beavers here to pump bad water, and they've been just walking on the red. I don't think there's anything bad, because no one's gotten contaminated. I haven't had it happen. So I can't say that that's potentially one of them. It might be, though. Alright, I'm going to turn this on. Oh, no, it's all on. Okay. 
I guess we could bop the small one because it's far away. This one as well. We have the big 1200 storage, and then once all of this is empty, we'll just bop the uh, bop the storage buildings. Get some free wood. All oh, not enough power. Oh, it's because of the explosives, probably. Let's get a third person on this. Oh, we didn't get the third person in time. Feels bad. That's still getting emptied. Oh, Ryan, we're just missing some coffee. Let's look at the dynamite. Let's go. Okay, let's bop this. I do want to get a tier one here, just so that we can walk on the path on ground level. We're probably not going to walk on that anymore, though, realistically. And then after we do this, we're going to pull everything else back. Actually, I'll trim everything. I think that's a smart thing. So here, here, here. And the reason why I think this is smart is because by doing this, this is going to be even with my path, and then I can put tier 3 uh, dynamite on that. Then I'm thinking about tier 3 dynamite on everything. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll get that set up. Because the more we push this back, the more uh, terrain we have for the coffee bush. Alright, back on this side. Dynamite's looking healthy. Two more. These two need to be reached. Alright, so these are raw goods that we need to move out. Oh, I just burped. Sorry about that. Okay, I do want the staircase set up. That means everything underneath is going to get built too. And then we're going to pick up the goods. Because once we have the storage, I think we'll be able to pick up all the items off the ground. Uh, the berry man is being healthy. Wait, 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 wait. We still need berries? We do. It's extract. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to need bad water eventually. Let's pop this. Okay. The beavers are doing great. Just some things we got to build. Wooden planks, wooden planks. Let's actually get both of these on high priority. Because I, th I think if we get both of these built, it's going to be very good for us. And then we'll start doing hydroponic garden soon. We'll be able to pull from this side, which is actually really nice. Oh, we have six beavers just chilling. Alright, let's turn this on. <laughs> I'd rather be at two. Three, three, four. The power is okay. Batteries aren't really needed. The batteries would help us out, I think. It would stabilize some of the, uh, like, downtime. So battery smooth, I gotta ask. How close is that third tribe mod? <laughs> how close is that from being done? Four free beavers. They're all doing the explosions. Realistically, I don't think we need to add any more. If anything, I guess it's the planks we could turn on. And get some more planks done. Because we're lacking on the planks. And then we're going to have to terraform around the mine right here once we're ready. We're making metal. Hmm. Oh, these buildings. Some of the well-being stuff I need. Uh, that should be around here, to be honest. Alright, so let's make sure we have some outdoor stuff here. Rooftop terrace. Alright. 
This is on top of the map. Has to be nice. So let's get some decorations here. We got the lantern and the shrub. Let's get a brazier. Let's get the beaver bust. Okay, that's not bad. Just getting some decorations up top. And then right here, I think it's going to be a staircase. I think it might be here. I'm not sure. Because if I put it here, what would I have up here? Rooftop terrace? I feel like if I do put this here, I want to reach the top there. And it might be better on this side. We could also put it here. And have this be a path coming down. But I don't know if that helps me. Maybe it does. Because I'd be able to go across this way. Up, up. Oh, this is not selected. Uh, so let's see. Bot limbs, heads. Ah, okay. So we have no food storage. It's only finished food storage. Okay, so 12, 12, 12, 12. And then there's other things that we need to grow. Okay. So we have storage for the raw or for the f cooked food at the bottom. So we need raw f uh, food storage. This is the warehouse. All right. So let's get. So kohlrabi doesn't need to be cooked. So we don't need a storage for that. Let's get the canola oil. Why not? And then. Here's the thing. Do I actually go like this and have it all connected? That actually does have some value to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like this. That means we do do that. And then this is a double plat. No, this is a single plat. And then I stare into it like that. Ah, so you have space here for rooftop terrace. Or maybe a proper roof. That wouldn't be bad. Start getting the roof bonus spread out. Yeah, I'm down with that. So let's get a 2x2 two two roof right here. Because there is a roof bonus that we need to get. Kill Bill coming in with the 7th stream streak. I see you over there, man. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. And coming in through the streams. Yeah, roof right here. That's what I'm going to try to satisfy. All right, so canola seeds, that's going to be from there. Kohlrabi doesn't get cooked. Uh, this is probably going to be... Cas no, we have, ca yeah, we have to move cassava. So I probably need to do... Soybeans. And then this one will be corn. And then we'll bot the storages so that we don't need those there. How's everyone doing today? I see you kill Bill. Yo, man, it's April Fools. <laughs> Everyone's just trying to survive, man. <laughs> don't know if you guys have had anything crazy happen, man. But it is indeed April Fools. So some people might be just trying to get by the day and not have anything bad happen to them. It's a drought. Okay, that's not going to be too bad. We're going to lose power. So in a drought, I have to turn off the number cruncher. I think that has to happen. Oh, is that what we're going to do? We're going to alternate between water wheel power and uh, using a engine is what I'm thinking. All right, I'm going to pass on that it's full wall here. Uh, water is fine. We'll just keep pumping. Have it. It's already the second. Oh, I see. You survived, man. I see you over there. Oh, uh, we're not enough power. Uh, that's tough. So even with the number cruncher off, it's not enough power. Let's turn off some processing, then. Let's turn off one of the industrials. That's still not enough. I could probably turn off the centrifuge for now. And then we're at a thousand. So I need about 120. 120 horsepower. Ah, uh, that's 75. 
this is 50 50 hmm all right we just gotta add the guy what's a little mambo awake he's there he's he's I don't know if he's awake I think he's trying to fall asleep but I think he's awake because I was up like man 20 minutes ago I have to use the restroom so I, I know I woke him up. <laughs> I know I woke him up. There we go. Almost ready. And then now we're going to do the top side. Nice. But yeah, I think he's awake. Do you think he is in for a snack? Uh... You probably wouldn't mind, to be honest. <laughs> it's up to you, Kill Bill. It's up to you. It's up to you. I will say that once it hits summer, he's not going to want to eat his wet food as, uh, as often anymore. There it is. Feed the mamba. All right, guys. We're going to get ready to feed the little babies. So we're going to let these guys do their thing. The drought's not going to be that bad, I don't think. So it should be all good. These guys are no longer pumping. There's no longer water there. And then... Yeah, everyone should be just chilling. I might want to dump water here. So we'll do that. We'll pump water, dump water. To use up some of the uh, labor force. And I think everyone else should be working. Alright, should be good. Let's leave them alone. They're going to be building their stuff. And let me get ready to feed the babies. I'll look at the mambas. All right, let me enlarge the babies. Mamba doesn't want to look at me because I'm he doesn't know if I'm holding the wet food and guys we're gonna be feeding the mamba some of the delectables y'all see it right and once I shake this bag he's gonna know it's for him all that yawn it's being a little baby He's looking away. He's looking away, dude. He's like, don't. Don't tease me with the wet food. He's up. He's up. Alright, kill Bill. Like feeding the babies. There he is. Having some wet food. There we go. Yeah, it's not April Fools. We're gonna get some chicken with some chicken soup. Look at the mamba. So he always has food. That's his kibble bowl. He has his fountain right there as well. Running water. So mamba always has his things. The wet food is a treat. But he does get it. 
So yo, kill Bill. Thank you for feeding the Mamba. We're gonna let him eat off of the can. Gonna let him eat in peace. But yo, man, appreciate you, kill Bill, for feeding the Mambas. Mamba gets to enjoy the wet feet. Always a good time. I think Mambas might go to sleep. Have you ever played the loot box game from Discord? No. I don't play Discord games because that's the easiest way for you to get hacked. <laughs> I don't like playing anything on Discord. Just because it's like, there's going to be so many people trying to hack your account. I always try to spoil him a little. Mama deserves it, man. He's a great kitty cat. Alright, we're back, y'all. We're back. Discord has streamer mode. That's true. But still, no, it's it's like a lot of the things on Discord is very sketchy. Like, someone could just come up to you and like, hey, check this out. And then if you click on the link, you're screwed. <laughs> like, it's that easy. It's like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know about those guys. Out of water. And how was the dynamite? It's getting there. Oh, nice. It's done. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so this means tier three. And then we do that. This is actually tier three. That's true, links are dangerous everywhere, 100% of the time. All right, that's connected now. So we got to do all that dynamite. Should be okay. All right, we do have some free beavers. All right, let's try to get this situated. Oh, this is almost done. Nice. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so we bop this. And then we get the dynamite here, which was a double. And then I want to do the path like that. Demo the path. And then we get the triple dynamite here. And then we have a nice little area for growing stuff. All right, so the next thing we got to do is some of the storage, which will be fine once we have them built. And then... I think we need to move the breeding pods. Okay. Uh, I guess we could also do this first. This makes a lot of sense. One, two, three. This is two, and this is one. All right, it's perfectly flat. That's all we need. That way, we don't have to go, like, all the way around this way to that way to get to here. So we're going to have a path straight there. The other thing we're going to want is... I guess we could build this now. Uh, we would have the platform. We would have the staircase there. So I would want to put the farmhouse here so that we could start planning... Well, I don't know if it's even the farmhouse or the forester. But there is the mangroves, and that's what I need. So, uh, mangrove plants, that's going to be what I want. Hey, people of chat, if you guys are very good at this game and have built the mangroves before, I have a question. Is there a, like, range for how deep the water could be for the mangroves? <laughs> like, do they survive two tiles deep? Or is it only one tile deep? It's only one deep. Oh, that sucks. Alright, it is what it is. We'll have to maintain that then. 
Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, thank you. So we really do have to get the dirt excavator then, huh? Excavate some dirt up here. And then I need to uh, add dirt right here so that we get a larger mangrove area. Man. Everything underwater is only one tile. Oh, that sucks. They need to make an underwater beaver tribe, realistically. Oh, there's no path in here. All right, soybeans and corn. Corn is no longer here. Gears and cassava. Okay. Uh, we need to move a lot of this stuff, so we'll have to do this soon. Mangroves are very useful to stop waves at a beach. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. They have a lot of roots. Basically large bodies to prevent the current from kind of, you know, raging in. I tried to make a 2 deep hole for a center of the city fountain, so it would last for a while. It was flooded. Oh, dude, feels bad. Feels bad, dude. Things like that happen, so it is what it is. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do really do be like that sometimes. All right, we're going to bop the cassava. I guess we'll move that here. I just want to bop this if I can. All right, so first things first. Uh, wood. Ah, we're going to have to get the other stuff here. Okay, we will need the tier one storages. So this is going to be like that, like that. So we're going to have this short. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I could just have them together. Yeah, we could just use this path. Oh, that's so good. All right, so that's already logs. Let's get something for metal. Let's get something for treated planks. I think that'll be fine. And then I'll need one for regular planks. I guess that could be here. Since I'm going to have axes that way already. And then this would be just regular planks. Yeah. Okay. I'm starting to see the vertical build. And then from here, we're at the roof. And then from here, I was thinking about using a staircase coming down. Because I wanted this to connect. So we have a way up and down. Uh, I wanted this path underneath, and I also wanted the double plat right here so that we could have a connection. I also wanted to demo this. Uh, we're probably okay to do that right now. So this is a tier one dynamite, and technically I would want this to be priority. And after we do that, I'll have a platform here. I'll probably also bop the corn so that this is a straight path. Looks better that way. Okay, and then we're going to get a spot for cassava and all that up top. Uh, do I want to continue this and put another storage box right here? Because we do more large storages right here. I think we will. So that means let's dynamite the tier one surface right there. I'll have to keep that added in though. We're just going to bop this so it's easier for us. Maybe we will also redo this part. I don't like this outline anymore. It used to be nice, but I'm thinking we might want to get rid of it. Potentially have a warehouse right here as well. And then we have the backside that we haven't utilized yet. How is the dynamite? Ooh, it's looking nice. Dynamite. Looking good. All right, so we have a lot we're waiting for these guys to take care of. Uh, let's also get this platform on priority. So that we could get the path in. That's going to be really nice. Let's try to get this as well. So we have four free beavers. Uh, water's topped off. We're draining water into there still to keep it up. Yeah, we can't really do too much. 
Uh, everything is pretty much occupied right now. Everything is topped off as well. Our storages are going up as well, which is really nice. We're able to actually store now. So the farmers are working hard. Since they're actually able to uh, do the things now. Oh, this was fast. God damn. Hitting us with some speed, huh? Alright, let's do this. And then we want the double plat here. Just want to make sure that's correct. And then once we pick this up, we got to put the dynamite right there. And I should do this now because it's growing. So we want to demo this. Wait, what? We want to demo that. There we go. And then once this is done, we're going to path on top. Drought ended. Nice. So that means we don't need to dump water anymore. We don't need six pumps because the two pumps are supporting the water dump. We're already topped off on water. Uh, this is going to generate power again. So we can turn this on. And then we're going to look at the power. So this is at half and that's at 1.5. These are up all the way. Yep, that's correct. And then it's this one it needs to go to half. Nice. All right, how's the power? So the water is going to be steady now. We are able to minus one here. 1750. Ooh. It's about 75 per beaver. It's a little bit less. All right, let me see if we could do that. Yeah, 16 something still. Okay, that's, that's healthy. Oh, no. Um... I add because I want the centrifuge on. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, we'll probably want more things on. We'll just keep it topped off. So those guys are free. Those guys got paused. This is getting demoed. All right, we're just going to make this cassava for now. Oh, 19. Let's go. That's actually really good. This is done. Let's go. All right, eggplants. We're getting our eggplants, boys. It's eggplant time. Aw, yeah. All right. This builder's hut, we're going to have to relocate. I don't have a good spot for that yet, though. Planks, metal blocks, treated planks. All right, so metal blocks... Logs, logs, planks, explosive scrap metal. Those could stay there. All right, so tree to planks. 180. Oh, damn, this is not a lot. I thought it was going to be like 1,200. Yeah, it's not a lot. That's fine. 180 is a decent amount. All right, 180 on all those. So scrap metal is fine. Tree to panks, 180, 180. This is at 200 at this. Metal, gears. We're going to have to get a gears uh, warehouse. It makes me feel like this should be a warehouse. Like, like this. <laughs> That's what it feels like. And then we could do that. Ooh. Ooh, and then we could climb on top. Oh, God. The ideas. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Do we have a need for industrial pile? I would have to either hold dirt or it's really just dirt or scrap metal, which I don't really need. Because we're going to be processing it. It should be fine. All right, so this is going to be a warehouse then. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, yeah. 
So likely, I think what happens is uh, there's going to be an up-down path to connect to this top side. And that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all. So of course, this means there's a connecting line here. After, actually, no. It's this path needs to get bopped. This path needs to get bopped. There needs to be a stair right here into a platform. There we go. Jeez, man. This is such a build. This is such a build. That's fine, though. We're stacking up till it hits the ceiling. Six free beavers. Uh, and the haulers and builders are maxed out. Man, what can we do with them right now? This got done. Can't be mad. Single one. Okay. And then I guess we'll leave that there because we can't touch the other ones. This will be final line. So let's go like this. And then if I click on this house... We do reach everything. That's not bad. Alright, let's build out those bombs. Should be okay. Alright, so now this part. Uh, mangrove requires Tapper's Hut. Okay. Okay. I might need a second uh, staircase on this side. What? Mangroves requires Tapper's Hut, right? No, 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 no. To harvest a fruit. To harvest a fruit. Yeah, yeah. You need a forester to grow it. But to harvest a fruit, you need a Tapper's Hut, right? Because it's the same thing as the Pine Resin. So you need the Tapper Shack to harvest the Pine Resin. Oh, it's a gathering post? Oh, wow. So you don't need a tapper shack. Okay. That's convenient. All right, let's build this guy and get some mangroves out here. If it's a tapper, if it's a gathering post, that's actually not bad then. Because that's going to be kind of curious. That's good to know. That's good to know. So... If you guys couldn't tell, it's my first time playing Iron Teeth. <laughs> I've done Folk Tales. That's where a lot of the experience is from. But yeah, not too familiar with the Iron Teeth. This is corn. It's looking good, looking good. Alright, looks like I really do need to just relocate the breeding pod center. I think it's going to be right here. So, uh, extract is something we have. We're making the centrifuge. I'll put two people on it. Oh, these aren't on anymore. That means we're not generating bad water. That's not good. Alright, now we're down to just one person. Okay. That's fine. So, let's get these. Metal and treated planks. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to grow six because that's how many we have here. And then once we have those built, we're going to remove these. This is still waiting for some cassava storage. Looks like we're still waiting to build these warehouses. Oh, this one's done. Nice. Uh, this one will be cassava. <laughs> So, get rid of the cassava. Alright, that's done. And then I gotta get rid of the cassava from here. So, we need the well-being spots like that. So, I need to make a zone for that somewhere. So, let's see. This doesn't have much going on for it right here. 
I guess this could be a rooftop terrace. That could be not bad. And then we'll get a decoration here with the statue. Alright, so we have this weird stairwell. I think we're going to do some meme strats with that. So the platform design allows me to put stuff underneath. So that is going to be teeth grindstone. There we go. Oh, I can't put that there. Medical bed? I can put the bed there. Okay, nice. So there's going to be a path here. Right? And then from this path, I'll be able to have three tiles. We're going to do medical bed. And then we'll put some grindstones on both sides. Then we'll do grindstone and then scratching post. Just a couple of random stuff. And then that's going to be a couple of random amenities. I would probably need more, though. So that's just teeth grindstone. We don't need that too often. Because we don't have a lot of people chipping their teeth from doing stuff like that. So once that's built, we'll be able to get rid of this. Yeah, the usage is not that high. So we could get rid of that. And then we have the medical beds. Okay. We need a medical bed center. People are getting hurt all the time. Ooh, the medical bed center right there feels bad. I'd rather want like a shrub or something inside. Dude, nothing goes inside. Oh, the brazier, nice. And then right here, two by two, not really a good size. I'd rather have a building right there, like a small building. Oh, that could be probably where the uh, mud bath is. Oh, dude, and I'd be able to put it, uh, we could remove the platform here. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, and just put the mud bath in like that. Oh, that'd be tight. Mud bath right here. All right, we're going to hold that potentially for a mud bath. So I was wanting symmetry with the design. So that means this was supposed to be a house, a regular barrack. Oh, and it'd be facing the middle because we have the middle path underneath. Yeah, uh, that wouldn't be bad. We just have a lot of housing already. So it's like, this is not really necessary. There's nothing else you could really put though. Maybe a medium warehouse. But this is short. I wouldn't be able to put two. I guess for the symmetry, we're just going to have to put a regular barrack there. Feels bad. I do want to do the uh, double side access. There we go. All right, this is still being worked at. Ooh, this is nice. Almost one more. And that means this should be done, right? Nice. We get the double plat. And then hopefully this is easier to move around. Oh, can we not reach these? Is that what it is? I can't reach those. Oh, and I can't get into the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, the simple solution is actually not that bad. Let's demo what we can. And then we want a double plat here. And then we want a double plat here. That way, we could just drop this from the top. I guess we do want this coming out this way. Sit on top of the water. Okay. How is the dynamite? So far, so good. Okay. 
Okay, and build radius. Oh, we can reach all the way over there. Wow. Let's go for this. We still get the nice reach. Okay. Yep, we reach all that. Let's have them build that. Coffee bush is going to be nice. So this forester could actually help us plant the coffee bush halfway through. And that's going to be kind of nice. I think what we're going to also do is put platforms right here. Oh, we're going to want to also uh, demo this layer. Or maybe we want to add dirt to this. So that we could have more space. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Because what we could do is add dirt there. And then we have more coffee bush. And then I'll probably build platforms for the forester and the gathering post. That makes the most sense, I think. So that we have maximized space. Okay, back on this side, we'll have some debris on the ground. Sweep all that. Oh yeah, medical beds. What am I doing? I need medical bed area. Uh, that's a brazier. That's a 2x2. Two two. Probably a double mud bath setup. I wouldn't be mad about that. Oh, that means I would have to move this. Uh, Alright, let's see how the bottom looks like. I see. Okay, that's not bad. This and that. Let's sweep both of these. Oh, it's this one as well. I see. Let's sweep that as well. And then... This is a levee setup. Alright, once we build that, we're going to bop these levees. So that we can build a mud bath here. Meme strats, meme strats. Zero, zero, 0070... Oh, we're up. We're up. Breeding halted, waiting for nutrients. Aw, snap. All right, so let's get rid of these guys. All right, so this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. I'll wait for these guys to be born. And then we got the advanced pods. Let's go. Does this work? Hmm, we don't. Okay. I'm just gonna have to click the buttons. Alright, so we just grow adults now. No more babies. Once this is done, we're gonna bop them. Oh yeah, this, this area is ready then. Oh, let's go. Alright, after this, we could bop some of these campfire sites. Wait for someone to be born. Oh, snap. Guess who's back? Mamba's back. And he is passed down from all the food. The babies is asleep. <laughs> the babies is asleep. Thank you for feeding them, Kill Bill. They're just still out there, man. So this was Gears. Uh, I guess that's the very top. Oh, yeah, 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 that's here. So Cassava. So we don't have raw eggplant. We don't have raw mushroom. Because this is fermented, right? So we could do that for these two. Some more food. I just don't have a gear spot yet. And I feel like I need that. Uh, no spot for gears. And then we won't be able to pick up gears as a result. What uses a lot of gears? <laughs> what uses a lot of gears? Somehow a clock barely uses gears. Okay. Okay, the mode of the Torium. Why not? We get to use a lot of gears as a result. Oh, shit is huge. God damn. 
I was not expecting this to be this large. Wow, so it's if this is on, I can't run. Oh, well, no, it's only 200 horsepower. Wind tunnel. And then there's also a lot of treated planks, which wouldn't be bad. Oh, we make decontamination pods. I haven't made these yet. Oh, I could put them here. Oh, what a meme. That's so good. And then I just have to move the staircase in a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's really good. I like that. Decontamination pods right there. Because we will need them eventually. And I like having them as, a f you know, just in case. So this requires extract water. We'll just get one for now. Um, I guess because we're not really building the side out, I could move some of the storage here. Don't want to do it, but I think this is, you know. We'll do it for now. One, two, three. So this is going to be the gears. And then I need to make campfire sites. So you can't build this on top of a house. It has to be on the ground. Oof. That really sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Don't have space for a campfire. Where can we have space for a campfire? You have to put it on the ground. That sucks. Alright, I guess we'll have to put it here. This is going to be the great campfire site. We only get three. Aw, dude. That sucks. Oh, the bombs are done, though. Okay. And then we should reach. Oh, we overreach. That's fine. There we go. Man, we need a we need a bot more of this, I guess. <laughs> so we have all the campfires right here. So three moving over to here. Three. Uh, what's our campfire coverage right now? Wait, is camp... Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, we don't have enough. Okay. I'll need some more campfires. Uh, we will designate this area as campfire zone. We'll do it. We'll do it. So... There's going to be a couple things that I will want to do here. Let's demo this. Demo that. I want this to be trimmed. And then after that's done, I think we're going to want to trim everything else here. And... Oh, we don't reach the back. Okay. If I do that, does it help? It does. Okay, cool. We want to trim everything here if we can. This side as well. Oh, so that's the key one, actually. And then I want that. There we go. And I still never got down the medical beds, huh? Uh, let's bop this, that, this. These are ready for raw goods. Let's put one for eggplants. Let's put one for coffee beans. We're not going to do hydroponics yet. This is gears. We have the gear site here. We're going to X that. We're also going to move the pine resin. All right. And then this is going to be emptied. Nice. Uh... We bopped at least one of these guys. Oh, they're in the beds. All right, no teeth grindstone. This is done. And yeah, we need more medical beds. I think we're just going to make a temporary spot. Kind of like this. 
Uh, temporary spots. Temporary spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, it doesn't change too much. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Three injured. All right, just in case we get like really bad <laughs> injuries, we'll do that. All right, Forrester. Let's get my mangroves. All right, he's right within range. I should be fine. This got built, so this is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Let's try to loot the stuff, though. And then we got to put a platform here. Is this ground only? No. Nice. And then this is low platform. Alright, we should do that on this side as well. We had to do low platform on that side. Planting the mangrove. Oh, the bombs are looking nice. Alright. Good times, good times. Nice. I feel like there needs to be a hotkey for build radius. <laughs> I feel like we need a hotkey for that. Because, like, I feel like I would love to have that just for build range so often. Just be able to have, like, that tied to something on a, bu on a button just so that I could see range off of the, the pathing. Or maybe make it so that if you click on the pathing, it gives you build range too. Because that's actually really nice to be able to see. Visualize it. Alright, this is pine resin. Wait, the haulers aren't moving the pine resin? Hey man, we need you guys moving the pine resin. Now let's get a second stock then. This is empty? No, we're emptying it out right now. All right, looks like they got it. Looks like they got it. Ooh, splash. Double plat. Nice, nice. We're going to get another warehouse right here. I might actually warehouse all this out. That wouldn't be bad. Going to get our eggplants. Come on. So this path is bopped. We don't need that. Let's bop the brazier. Shrub, scratch posts, medical beds. Oh, rip this guy. I took he was resting in the bed. <laughs> my bad, man, my bad. You too. Gonna get bopped. Go home, dude. Uh this is bopped. And you're gonna put a path here. That way it's connected to canola still. So it's very likely we're going to have a path like this. And we're going to bop the other one. Just so that it, it looks a little bit better. We also want to bop this. Loot the items, boys. Loot the items. And then we got to bop this. And then the builder's hut. Oh, I never relocated that. Alright, I guess we'll move it here temporarily. Everything is coming temporarily over here. like that sometimes I suppose we will need the builder so we'll keep that up until that one's ready the haulers is maxed out and then we're way oh this is this is ah uh, it's filled that stuff so I do need to build something that uses a lot of gears what uses a lot of gears I guess we'll have to make the motivatorium we'll move this out
Motivatorium. Let's go, let's go. Let's get the gears. Ah, uh, that means I need to pause on making gears. That way the planks get to accumulate. Yeah, we have too much gears right now, 240. We'll use some over here and we'll be fine. Okay, that's still being worked on. Campfires right there, but it's not enough. Oh, we still gotta work on these medical beds. And then... Dynamite's being worked on. We are out of dynamite. Aw, snap. We're making it, though. We're just a little bit out. Power's okay. Once we get the motivatorium on, though, I'm a little bit worried. Uh, we don't technically need this right now. So let's do this, that. And I do want this to be dynamite. And then we'll get another decontamination pod right here. We'll pull power from the number cruncher. Should be fine. And then the motivatorium. Use all the gears. Use all the logs. Oh, are we out of wood? I guess we could do that, right? Yeah, so let's bop this. Lantern, brazier. Let's do forester. Ah, we can reach to here. Alright, let's get some more pines. We still are within range, so we will grow up the pines to here. Maybe I should stagger some of the trees and do some oaks. That way we get some uh, tree variety. It'd be not bad. So we have explosion. Oh, we're out of bad water. Dude, of all things. Uh, let's slow down centrifuge to one person. Yeah, because we're low on bad water, dude. That's kind of crazy. And did we get the new builder's hut? Let's get a priority on this as well. Dude, 10 people. Oh, it's because I'm getting adults now. Yeah, so they won't actually... Uh, <laughs> will actually grow the population that way. Yeah, 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 because the kids will be able to work from the get-go. So it is technically better. Hopefully that's fine. Yeah, so that's built now, so I wanted to move this out. And then... Uh, I guess this is okay. This right here... We'll do that, that. Alright, so from here we need the farmhouse. Yeah, that's the perfect spot. That's not bad. I might need two for this, though. Team OSU over there. Coming in with the lurks. Appreciate it, man. We'll see you later. Oh. These guys could help us out, too. I'm thinking I might need a second farmhouse for this. That way we get up to there. And then we're going to be growing eggplants. Zero Dragon, hello, hello. I see you over there, Zero Dragon. What's good? All right. We're going to be farming, boys. Farmers are us. Good times. How you doing, Zero Dragon? How was the days? Did you survive April 1st? Maybe like that sometimes, man. Sometimes you all got to do is survive. Eggplants don't taste or look like eggs. They do, if they're not ripe. That's the big thing about that. They do, if they're not ripe. Just grown eggplants literally looks like an egg on a stick. And then when it gets its color, it'll start elongating at the same time. Eggplants are weird, man. Be real. Eggplants are a little weird. A little weird. But yes, they do not taste like eggs. I will agree with that. <laughs> they don't taste like eggs, man. 
All right, looks like we're having a little bit of a wood issue right now. Building a lot of storages and moving stuff. And just losing wood all together. Uh, so... I lost my woodcutter over here. I guess we could put him back, though. But yeah, it looks like I need more trees to cut. Hey, we're at 20? Oh, it's because of the motivatorium. Let's go. A21. Only way to do it. We're in, we're in. They're getting better. We're gonna get mangroves soon. Ah, uh, gathered by gather flag. Okay. That's gonna be right there for these guys. Okay, and then we'll need more pop for the hydroponic farm, but I wanna get the eggplants first. Once that's up, we'll be able to start, uh, making eggplant rations and then this is gonna mean we're gonna need more power yeah uh i don't want to add another power wheel right now so i'm thinking we're either gonna have to add more trees oh this is ready nice more trees so that we could chop the trees I mean, we have so much pine resin, this is probably fine. Alright, so we're just going to put this back to chop the trees again. So I need more tree space, is what I'm thinking. Hmm, there's space down there, I just don't think it's worth it. Outside of that... I guess we could grow some oak trees here. I guess we try to go grow some oak trees here. That's going to be later on, I guess. Or maybe we should really go back up the stairs. We would lose them on droughts, though. Maybe that could be uh, pine trees, then. 12 days to grow. That's not bad. Let's up the gates. I don't think it's going to change too much. We could still uh, drop the water there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's holding the water at a good spot. And now we have openness. Uh, I guess we could dump water again. Start pumping from this side again. The bad water pump as much as we can. Oh, I need to get the bad water dome. That's going to be the next thing I think I need. So that we get bad water. Oh, that means we would get power. Oh, that's what I need to do. Uh, we need to figure out how we want to do this, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we know we need to go upstairs. And then we'll likely need some dynamite right here. And then we get up to this level. So this is where the bad water spawns. We're going to build a dome right here. So we could potentially stare going up this way. Okay. And then we have scraps. So I want to force this the other way. And then how do I want to do a spill path on the side? Because it will spill off the map unless I do something. So we could carve out like a path for the spillage. Ooh. Dude, this is going to be tough. But I see something we could do. Uh, it would be probably right here then. We're going to need this path. Yeah, this would be the top. So realistically, it would be here. Splash, splash, curve flows out this way. All those wheels give me power.
and then this could be my power strip. And then we would just have to get power connected somehow. Yeah, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. So effectively, I would want this. And then we want this to be where our power spine is going to be. And then we're going to want the water to flow backwards. Somehow spill this way. And then we need to wall it down so it goes out this way. And then we have to have that rerouted this way. So if I want this as my spine, I probably demo this. So that we could use the efficient wheel. So this is too deep. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And then this is two by five. Okay. So if we were to use this, go down, and then we're going to use waterfall two, and I'm going to go from here. Now we'll go from here. Two. One, two, three, four. That's five. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So, two, four. I get two wheel sets here. If I go with four wide. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then five, five. Okay, we could go out to here then, I guess. And then I need to go into this height. Let's make it six wide. And then we want to leave some leeway for ourselves. Wait a second. Uh, I guess I have a question. When you do a large power wheel and you have to anchor it down too deep. Do these attach to one another? Or does that actually require me to anchor it properly? I think it requires me to anchor it properly, right? Oh, that means then... Ooh. A uh, question. This this could be floating, right? That's not a problem. This could be floating. Ooh, does that matter? Because I'm here. We're going to lower this. We're going to be at this level. So this is minus two, that's zero. One, two. And then we would levy here, right? This is one, two. No, I guess you could count this as well. But we won't blow this up. I guess this could be where the platforms are and the anchors to here. And then it goes down one. So this is ground anchor one, two. We're on here. Do you mind fixing the windows, the small ones? Wait, what? The windows, the small ones? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? I am not sure what windows you're talking about. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you, G. Yo, man. I hate to say this, but I'm not sure if the graphics are going to look good if I uh, stretch out the Mamba Cam. <laughs> I see you over there, G. I see you over there. Can I get Mamba in? All right, so where were we? We were here. Uh, so anchored to here, platform, so we're at this level. One, two. 
And then we're going to do two, two, five. And then we'd be able to put the levy right here. Because it's one, two, one, two. All right. And I'll do it like that in case something weird happens. So we would have it like that. Right? So it's one, two, one, two. And we would want to get to here. And then this water has to go all the way out. Oh man, another large wall set up. And then, how do I want to do this? So we know that it's here. So we know that this should straighten out to here like that. It's probably already gonna flow. So it's probably like this. Oh, wait. And then this one, this one. So one, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here, here. And I think that's what we want. Okay. This corner is going to be tough to build. Walking this is going to be a pain. And then we know we want to get here, here, here 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 right that's technically the water level I want to be at but I guess because of how it might spill I need to prevent it from spilling off I guess that depends on how we dynamite this but this is effectively what I think we would want Oh, you came around. Man, these guys are slick. Uh, being at height is probably fine. So platform, double plat. And then we want to do that. And then this part's going to suck. And then we're going to have to do that part. There we go. Just to get power, man. Running it off of the uh, Badwater Dome is what we're going to do. Alright, another big project. So how's everything else first? Two people not working. Farmers are doing fine. We're going to have one harvest while one of them grows. That makes more sense. This is emptied out. Let's go. We don't need that there. Uh, this is waiting, but that's fine. We did want more warehouses over here. So let's get that set up. Wouldn't mind that at all. I guess we could put another warehouse right here still. Because technically we could stack everything on top of the stairs. <laughs> that would be a thing. Mangroves, how long? Alright, this is not even grown yet. But it's okay. Chopping the trees. This is almost ready. Alright, alright. So what foods do we not have? Oh, I never turned on the eggplants, right? Do we have... No, it's not even grown yet. Yeah, we don't have the first harvest. It's about a third of the way. Okay. No power. Decontamination pod is paused. 
Uh, reason why is because no one's actually contaminated. So they're okay. Alright, they're building up the stuff. Can't complain. Let's try to get that first. And then we're going to get some efficient wheels over here. We will have to dynamite a lot of this as well. Oh, uh, I guess we're also going to have uh, wheels going up down. That shouldn't be too bad. So I, the thing I'm worried about is the anchor point for that. I think the anchor point's going to be fine. Especially since you could anchor it to the platforms. That should be okay. I might be uh, wanting more berries as well. This is looking good, though. And then from this setup... Uh, tier 1 dynamite right there. This is going to be a weird ladder set, to be honest. The right side should be at tier 3. This has to be completely trimmed down. <laughs> oh, I should go directly to the mine from the top of the house. Ooh, maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play. Go to the top of the mine from the top of the housing. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I'm low on wood again. Oh, the dynamite. God damn. Okay. Splash. Mmm, that feels good. There we go. Tier 3. Oops. And then tier 1. Coffee soon, boys. We're getting coffee soon. Gonna get the mangrove fruit soon. That's gonna be nice. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Drought's almost over. Water is almost topped off. Always dumping the waters. One vacancy. Oh, wow. That's gotta be a hauler post, right? Yeah, that's good. Looks like I do want to demo this. I would want to pick that up first, though. Hey, no, nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Did you get injured? You did not. Okay, cool. Let them work, let them work. Dude, the, the oil is so strong. No goods selected. Okay, so what can we put here? Scrap metal. Uh, dirt. I guess more scrap metal. There's nothing else we really need storage for. Scrap metal would be like the only thing. Metal is being fine. And then the drought's going to be over soon. We are working on this new wall though. It's going to be kind of nice. And we will need dynamite on this side as well. Base is looking good, though. Mangrove. So what else are we missing from this? Wet fur. Swimming pool. Oh, this requires one level deep. Oh. I see. Uh, wet fur visitors. Okay. That's not bad. Having a swimming pool spot. Uh, realistically, it should be right here. By the uh, levee walls. Yeah, I'll try to set that up. Maybe we should pull this back. Hmm. 
Maybe we could have it here? Three, three like that? Maybe. Let me see if I could fit that in. I think that might be the play, though. So we could do that. And then I guess we have to like, double extend this. And then we get the swimming pool right here. This would be not bad. And then we'll put some decorations right there, I guess. All right, let's wait for that then. This is almost built, nice. Oh, they could reach this. Wow. What about this one? They can't reach that one. That's kind of weird. Alright, tier 1. And we can't reach that, right? So the next thing we got to do is this. This is a weird strat. We demo that. So we move the staircase from here to here. And then we demo down this area by walking on this floor. Okay, so because of this, I think we have to use a tier two here. Yeah, very likely. All right, cool. Oh shit! We're flooded! Wait, what? Everyone's dying? Oh, I never- I never lowered the wall. Wow, I never lowered the wall. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, lower the wall all the way, man. We flooded real bad right now. Everyone's getting wet fur, though. Upside? Everybody's getting wet fur. Dude, I accidentally flooded. Holy crap. Alright, push this up to half. And... Alright, we're good again. We're good again. Woo! Man, this went up to 44 and I panicked. All is well. All is good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Alright, let's get the... Another campfire right here. Because we have space now. And then this is ready. Oh, oh! I almost detonated. Oh my god. There we go. That beaver almost died. Alright, so I, we should be able to reach everything here. We just need explosives. Uh, bad water is flowing, so we're doing the thing over this sign. We're short on wood, and we're chopping it. Alright, so we don't need this dump anymore. We're going to free up some workers. Uh, let's remove two pumpers. The wall being at 21 should be good enough. Mangroves are fine. Contamination pot is off. And we have eggplants now? No? 88% soon. Soon, soon. So we're 19 out of 18. Uh, that means I have to turn something off. It's probably going to be the number cruncher. It's going to mean we won't get as much science anymore, though. But we have, like, more or less everything. Oh, we don't have this. Ooh, we could probably buy this right now. Just because it's cheap. All right. So this is the laborer monument. I need to put this home base, dude. So that everyone just randomly gets the buff. Wow, how many tiles is this? One, two, three. Six, seven. Jeez, that's so good. I, I think I actually put this on top of this. 
This is so strong. The statue of the beavers. I could also put it here. That might be really good. I could walk on top of the hydroponic farm, though, so I'm going to hold off on that. I kind of want the statue. It's just a lot of wood. We don't have it right now. Oh, this is up. Warehouse. Because canola oil is maxed out. We have eggplants. Mushrooms, coffee beans. Wait. Doesn't this already have 1,200? It does. All right, I guess this will be for mushrooms. Oh, man. Uh, we'll preemptively get the coffee down right now. So, Forester. Okay, we'll need another Forester. And we'll do it like that. And then coffee beans, probably going to be gather flag. Yeah, that's probably fair. Set it up like that. We'll do the path thing a little weird. Okay. Okay, that's in, but we pause. I feel like having a lot of zigzags is bad. So we're just going to make it so that it happens every so often. And then this path right here. There we go. I guess this could also be done like this. If anything, I want to move this guy, most likely. Uh, he's not doing anything. Let's bop him. And move the flag there. <laughs> and then I get this, which is going to be a lot better. Well, it just looks better that way. I might even get the top line all the way out. Dude, that might be it. Top line. Boom, boom. Not bad. This is going to take a while, which is fine. I do want to get that, and I do want to prioritize the sun. That'd be kind of nice. Planks. We're not making gears anymore. Wow, we're just short. Yeah, we just need planks. Wow. We just need a lot of planks. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, now that we have eggplants, we can turn on the eggplant machine. We're at 18 out of 19. We'll pause this. 6.9. And how is the walls on the side? Let's take it some time. Okay. Let's plant some variety then. Uh... I guess we can't do it yet. Oh, the cut trees isn't on the side. Okay. Let's do some oaks right here. And then let's do the cut trees everywhere. Hi, legit. What's going on, Perovis? How are you? Welcome in. Happy April Fools, if you're uh, enjoying the April Fools. But welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. We're just uh, making a coffee area right now, but our base is looking nice. Our base is looking nice. We got some plans for some red water. I could probably make the dome right now, actually. All right, so gears, explosive, metal blocks. That's going to be fun. We have the gears, so we don't need that. Metal blocks we have, and then it's just explosions. Okay. 
Not bad, not bad. Doing great. How are you? We doing all right. Mama had some wet food today. He's napping. Beavers are doing great. We're just trying to do our best. Try and take it a day at a time. And uh, do what we can. So far, so good. This is barely giving me power. I wonder why that's the case. 73 versus 10. Your calling started to get out of hand? No, we're doing good. Uh, everything is managed right now. We're doing really well. Are you getting sleep lately? Uh, trying to. But yeah. I have this thing where I like to stay up. <laughs> oh, man. I like staying up at night, man. I can't help it. No goods on this one. Uh, we'll get algae and mushrooms soon. Alright, this will be algae storage then. That's all the food. That's not bad. Our warehouse stack is looking healthy. These are paused. And then once we get enough demo, we're going to start doing our coffee sprouts. Oh man. As long as you also sleep in the morning. Yo man, sleep in the morning? Go to sleep in the morning? Or <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's, that's very different depending on how we're looking at things, man. What do you mean? Gears. Oh, we don't have enough gears actually. Oh, this is going to be fun to bake. Let's have it open. Oh, and can we not scoop this up? Oh, man. I don't know beavers drink coffee. The, the smart ones do. <laughs> the smart ones do. And we're smarter than the average beaver. So, uh, we drink all the coffee. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. over here. Oh, I see, I see. It's late over there, huh? Hey, we got the eggplants. While being going up. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so... These platforms aren't done yet. We have one more row. Yeah. And then we got, let's look at the well-being. So wet fur, fermented mushrooms, algae, coffee, campfires, we need more. And then we need more roofs, more scratchers. Okay, we could do more scratchers, actually. There are probably some uh, choice spots for us to put this. That's when I usually start about thinking going to bed. I see you guys over there. Gotta stay up sometimes. Something about me not wanting the next day to start makes me want to stay up more than I should. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that for you guys, but it's like that for me. I'm always like, yo man, I don't wanna I don't want tomorrow to start yet. Aw, oh, you didn't build it? Is it time to sleep? It is. That's the best way for me to put it into words, to be honest. Alright, let's buy the mud bath. Alright, I do need this on, dude. Huge rip. Damn, we're not going to have the power. Oh, when your streamers are online? Yeah. You're gonna wanna stay up, man. There we go. Alright, it's coffee time. So, this guy's on. Coffee bush. 
Okay, and the gather flag goes up to here. We could plant up to there as well. And yeah, we'll just keep it like that. It should be fine. It's just one hour, and then a couple hours later. Yeah, let's do another hour. <laughs> hey man, one hour becomes two, two becomes three, and then just like that, man, it's tomorrow. Just like that. Rooftop terraces, it's a little bit low. Have you played Dyson Fair recently? Uh, it's April, right? A couple months ago. January, February. But my YouTube video got DMCA'd by a random uh, song artist. When they added in uh, music to the game, they didn't tell the guy that made the music to not post it on YouTube. So now the guy is just copyright claiming everyone. So, no, I stopped playing because of that. I don't know if that got fixed. Hopefully it did. Maybe we'll check it out, but yeah. The dev forgot to talk to the guy that made the music. So, yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of annoying that you have to deal with that. Oh, this is done. Nice. Uh, Well-being swimming pools. Let's go. Let's get our coffee bush. Nine days, three days. And then we can turn on the coffee machine. Turn on the brewery. Not bad, not bad. So the water is good. Drought's going to happen soon. I'm thinking we might want to get... Uh... Might want to get some more hydroponic or maybe some water pumps. So that we get more water. Oh, that's sad. I enjoy those streams. Hey man, I gotta... it's Dev's fault, man. Gotta wait for the dev. Until the dev takes care of it, man. We won't be able to play it yet. But yeah, 100% dev fault. <laughs> it's out of our power, man. It's out of our power. Alright. Um, I want more tree growing space. I don't want to trim the mountain again, though, but we might have to. We could do a half and half on this side, because we could reach this side again. Right? Put that at zero, and then put that at half. Oh, yeah, but because how that works, this is at one, and this is at half. So we lose half the water that's flowing in, but that doesn't matter because it's spilling off anyways. So that doesn't change anything for us. So if I do this... Oh, I might be able to just grow trees here again. Can I demo this? I don't want to demo it, but I want to demo it. <laughs> I don't want to demo it, but I want to demo it. I mean, we are connected, so it should be fine. All that needs to go. Let's put a forester here. And then we will go through this way. And then we'll have to grow some trees here. I think I'll start spreading these trees. And I think we will pause the forester. So the next time we chop trees, we'll replace them with oak trees. And then we'll move some pines over to here. And we'll chop wood from the side. Just so that we have a little bit of help. Yeah, that could help us out. Uh, for the time being, then, does that mean I should try to get some more builders or haulers? 
Everything seems fine right now. In terms of the population. 24, let's go. And it's drought time. Classic. Let's raise up the waters. We don't lose any of it. Uh, lost half, that's fine. And then the water there is just going to chill there. It's probably going to dry up though. So we're just going to chop everything down. So many things lacking materials. It's all dynamite. Wait, oh dude, wrong, wrong thing. Holy heck. Dude, I was supposed to grow coffee, dude. What was that? Dude, we chose the wrong item, dude. I didn't even see that. Alright, so this is ready. I guess we could start this, but I probably don't want to do that yet. Oh, this is ready. And that would be the staircase. Then we go upstairs. Coffee bush. Alright, so when we mine all that, we'll start growing some trees right here. And then also, uh... I think we do also have the pumps here still. Leave that there. Waiting for the levee wall. Okay, so far so good. Beavers are doing great. Alright, so... Wood is the bottleneck at the moment, so I do want them to do that. Let's try to get this done. Let's also try to get some uh, lumberjack flags. So who does this job? The demolition job. Is that a builder? Do builders do that job? If it is, I'm going to build another builder's hut. I'm assuming that's what it is. Tree residents topped off, though, so much. I have no planks, dude. No wood. Once this is built, we'll start growing some trees here. And I think it has to be pines. Nothing else really makes sense. Ah, these tree spots. That's what we're waiting for. So that we can start changing that up. I think that helped. No, it didn't. Because this is not even built yet. <laughs> oh yeah, it helped demoing all that stuff. Yep. Dude. I am... Oh yeah, we're missing a lot. This has to be paused during the droughts. And then we're still 400 uh, horsepower behind. Dude, that's so bad. I really need the red water power source. That's going to take a long time. But once we do that, it should solve all the problems. Oh, I could just do that? Dude, Thug Live. We didn't need to demo. Alright. So that's max range. I won't be able to go past that. Alright, this is going to be our growing quarters. Let's go, let's go. Growing my trees. We'll need some woods. Mr. Uglar Visk, how are you? Welcome in, welcome in. We got the Kool-Aid. Let me know which color you like. We'll pour you a cup. Two hundred metal. Okay. Classic red. Oh man, that's the bad water. <laughs> That red's a little dark, man. I wouldn't ask what's inside. I can't tell you, man. 
they don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. How are you holding up, though, on the uh, April Fool's Day, Mr. Oglarvisk? We're not doing anything crazy like that, where we prank people or whatnot. But, yo, man, we could be the place where you guys have some, uh, you know, safety. Hope you guys are doing well, though. The April Fool's Day can be devastating. All right, so the scratchers are there. I wonder if I should get more. Ooh, we might want some more. Yeah, it looks like we might want some more. Hey, it's all good. All good. Hey, man, surviving. Good to hear. Good to hear. Maybe we want an area where we just do all the, like, amenities. Scratching, campfires. All at the same zone. That would make sense. We do have the rooftop stuff, which is not bad. Ah, oh, look at them. Chopping trees. A, and building houses. A, the little show, man. A, the beavers need a little bit of motivation sometimes. All right, the scrap metal here is almost done. I think eventually we're going to need to drag this power across so that we could do the uh, dirt excavator on this side. That's what it feels like, and we're still got to do all the explosions right there. Ninety-four and then three days. So after the drought, I need to turn on the gather flag. Okay, that's not too bad. And then how long is this going to take? Yeah. We really just need to chop the trees. Aw, oh, snap. Look at him go. Planting dozens of trees at a time. Great times. I just gotta let him rock, let him rock. We have the second builder's hut, nice. So how can we get a lot of wood? I guess we could turn this on for the time being. Yeah, we we'll leave some of the oak trees, but we'll chop some of them right now. We need all the wood we could get. That's metal. I guess we could try to grab this. It's kind of far. Oh, it's pine. So you get two per at the very least. That wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is not bad. We should be alright. Now we just gotta wait for this. Um, We are terraforming this, so we should wait for this to be done first. Because I am thinking we maybe we want to stop so we can make explosions for that. And then make our uh, reroute system. So we could spill water out the proper way. It wouldn't be too bad to do that. Because I think what we would do is wall this up and then allow the bad water to fill up. And then we need to create a spill path like right behind it. So we would probably want to bop this. We don't really have the wood to pull this off though. So we kind of have to wait. Wait for this guy to plant all his trees. He's getting there though. Alright, because we have a lot of pine resin, I'm going to just chop the trees. Hopefully that's fine. Because we are stocked with the pine resin. 
Full storages, man. It's doing pretty good. Yeah, they can't do anything yet. The drought's gonna be over soon, though. Yeah, we have we have more workers than we need, so that's actually okay. And we have a lot of raw food now, so our farmers are actually idle as well. <laughs> We're probably providing way more food than we need. Wait, what? This requires deeper water to function? Dude, what is this? What is this? Oh my god. They lied to me. Two deep is not enough? Wait, three deep of water is not enough? Wait. How deep does this need to be? Hey, you have any uh, people of chat? Oh, it's the current water level. Oh, I see. I see what you guys are saying now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I should have the... I need to have the swimming pool on this side. Because we're going to be able to maintain this side. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. So if we have the swimming pools on this side instead, and we pump water from that side to this side, we maintain it. And then that way we'll be able to have the water level high. Okay, okay. So I could actually demo these uh, platforms. That's not bad. What's going on, Tony? Welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Hopefully you're surviving the April Fools. I see you over there, though. All right, we could demo that. That's perfectly fine. And then we can pick up these items. Oh, dude, we have wood again. Oh, that's nice. Come on, man. We need to build the wall. It's on its way. It's on its way. And then this is almost uh, planted. We got some trees cut up here. Got the woods. Oh, man. Yo, man, Cities cities has been a travesty, man. Cities has been a travesty, man. It's been tough. Skylines 2 has left a bad taste in my mouth. It's like, from the beginning, they were like, yeah, we're going to... fix the game. And then they never fix the game. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let's push this up first. And then the water for the mangroves. Don't die, man. Everything went to garbage the moment they said, Hey, we don't like how the community is mad at us for making a bad game. So... We're just not going to uh, fix the game anymore. <laughs> oh, man. And then the biggest problem I have with Skylines right now, Skylines 2, is that if you play the game, you wouldn't understand what's going on unless you read the weekly uh, Paradox updates that they have the forum post on. But the messed up thing with that is, is that how they describe how the mechanics work, how it's intended to work, doesn't actually work the way they describe. So it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I get it if you say you want it to work a certain way, but when it's not even working the way you describe it, you know, that's a problem. According to them, there is nothing left to fix and it's all working perfectly. I think at this point, they're they're not going to be truthful with us anymore. 
because fundamentally I think that's what the problem was and they realized that anything they said is being held accountable and they're like we're just not going to say anything anymore that's really what it is right they're just like you know what we made promises and we might not have delivered but you guys don't have to call us out on that so as a result we're just not going to give you guys updates anymore and then it's basically you know they went dark and that's like the worst thing you could put it that's the worst thing you could do where you go hey you know you guys need to show us support and buy our dlcs and when people are like fix your game first they're like okay we're just gonna fix the game on the dlcs and then it's at a point where they're like oh the game doesn't need to be fixed but then it's like they also said on launch everything was fine everything was great and that this is not an early access model i think also the fact that a lot of content creators are dropping skylines too is also another big thing so many of the content creators after the nda and the legal agreements have passed the time period for them able to critique the game after that uh expired and they were able to freely talk about the game dude all of them were like this is a travesty absolute grand travesty this is it this is the absolute grand travesty right like there were people like literally that will say that like dude they made promises they didn't actually you know come through on any of them and it's like super sad and it's like damn dude what can you do about that <laughs> i think you said it right that they have not been honest i have been saying that from the start yep they're not being honest man they never have been when when the first month of communications with paradox was the ceo contradicting herself constantly there was big problems like that was the first red flag people wanted to believe though right because they wanted to have a good game now it's like we we fully understand that they have become the thing they promised us to never become they are now sim city and we're waiting for skylines to come out that's exactly what we're doing we're repeating history Hey, Geek with the gift sub, the Sprig, Yig. Thank you so much, Geek. I see you over there, man. Coming in with the support. Appreciate it. How are you, Geek? Welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh, wait. I'm flooded? Oh, I forgot to lower the gate. My bad, my bad. Let me let me lower the gates. I accidentally flooded myself again. All right, we're good. Stop the flood. Stop the flood. Okay, so since we're flooding, that means this is fine. So that we can add water for the trees on this side. Nice. And yeah, I've never got bored to this to begin with. I have seen all the uh, videos on YouTube. Yeah. I never got on board CS2 to begin with. I have seen all the videos. I see. Yeah. A lot of people were waiting for it because it was like... Anyone that's followed Paradox understand that their games never work out of the box. If you're buying a base game and it's a new game, they have never had a game work outside of the box, like out of the box. And what I mean when I say that is, is that the very first base game iteration of any series has always been garbage for the first year. Every single version of the game. To the point where I think they're actually okay with taking the loss right now. But there is a problem. Did you know that if you go on Steam and you rank every game by user rating, Paradox has three of the top 10 worst games on all of Steam. That's actually very tall tale sign that this company needs to just flop and die. Like, they went from being the golden child, they're gonna save us kind of a thing, to now it's like, yo man, I don't know if I trust this guy anymore, you know? Like, it's bad. It is bad.
and it's like they they're not getting review bombed it's just the the community showing their you know they're not happy oh this is triple dynamite that's my bad i need to use double that's a mood yeah see you on the youtube video basically took responsibility for anything and blamed the hype on everyone but colossal order yeah first it was like oh yeah don't worry it's a complete game that we're finishing and then it's like they had the announcements that the console version got delayed don't worry this is not a beta this is a complete game you know that's a bold face lie and then weeks later we never said it was a complete game <laughs> we never said that and then everyone is pulling up the forum posts and all the receipts and then the ceo just doesn't address any of the comments and it's like man dude this is this is the leadership at the top huh <laughs> this is the leadership at the top huh that's that sure is an example But uh, yeah, it also doesn't help that the PR crew for Paradox is probably the worst PR crew I've ever seen in my life. It just looks like the people who are on the PR uh, group for that company literally is just reading a book on how to be a PR for dummies. Because they're not paying attention to anything. They're just doing things systematically because their bosses tell them to. Like, there is no actual thought process into when they make a post. None of the verbiage is actually ever on point. They will create more negativity with their posts than actual positivity. Because I'm not going to lie, man. They are really bad when it comes to that. All right, clear planning area. We're going to bop this. It's going to put some oak trees here. And then that's going to be our variety. I guess we could add in some birch, but probably not. No mangroves here. And then we'll turn this guy on. Because, dude, there has been so many times. Hey, Vid! Coming in with the raid! Nobody move. It's a raid. I see you over there. Shout out to you. I have caps lock on. Playing some Satisfactory. How was that? I've actually never played Satisfactory. So, yo, man, how was the playthrough? I imagine you're at the very beginning. I would imagine. But, yo, man, welcome in. My name is Too Legit, though you guys don't know me. Just playing some Turboborn. We got our mountain range map. We did the water routes. We got the big wall on the side. And now we're making a new wall on the side. And this is going to be uh, the dome setup that we're going to be trying to do. So yeah, going to be trying to set this up. Oh, we have planks. That means I can turn on my gears now. Let's go. Doing good. And now I'm up to oil production already. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> is that progress? Is that progress? But yo, man, appreciate the raid, Vin. I'm not, yeah, I'm not familiar with the game. So I don't know what any of that means, sadly. Do they have tunnels? Uh, we have platforms, so we could go like underneath the buildings, right? So in daytime, everyone's gonna wake up and run down through the hallway down the middle. So that's gonna be the buildings that we're uh, stacked on top of. And we'll have like little ladder shafts like that. Storage is everywhere, right? Different height levels so that we hold the goods. But yeah, they're going through the platforms. Because as soon as Seeds came out, I thought it was it for them, and there was no recovery. At this point, I think they will be trying to put different lipstick on the same pig. I mean, that's what they've been doing, though. They're trying to emulate the uh, electronic arts business model. Like, that's all they're trying to do right now. They have been historically just been following literally the same playbook EA did a decade ago buy smaller studios, sell a bunch of DLCs. The only thing they do different is that they actually have sales. EA never used to have sales for their stuff. 
first upgrade coal steel and then it's oil oh that's not bad so you're mid late game oh that's awesome man sounds like you've been uh playing the satisfactory for a while i've never actually had a chance to play that then again i also don't know if my pc holds up for that stuff but yeah stuff man that's paradox I'm realistically, I might play cities every now and then, but I'm waiting for like a new city builder. Like, realistically, man. I'm waiting for one. And that's realistically all we could do, too. You know? That is all we could really do. Wait, 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 wait. Mangrove fruits. Okay, so they just eat that raw. Okay, that's fine. I have 32 gigs of RAM, and I have a 3060. But then again, I hear that Satisfactory has one of those problems where at a certain point of the game, you, there's nothing you could do. It's, it's just going to lag. That's the thing I'm actually worried about. Emo got delivered. Oh, there's a Kappa Infinite. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> that's a tight emo, man. I see a gun, Griffin. It doesn't have factory levels of authorization, but I haven't had problems. Yeah, I've I've heard about that, but I'm not sure. But yeah, because it's 3D, the graphics looks really nice. I just yeah, I have doubts. I don't know if I'll actually run it or not because I don't have the game. Yeah, it's it depends, right? It's a play style. How you like to do things is uh, what dictates that, I think. All right, I think this Forester no longer needs to be active. Because realistically, none of these coffee bushes are going to die. So he could be paused and we'll just harvest. And then we get a couple of free people. I mean, they're haulers or builders. That's not too bad. Okay, we have power now. 19 out of 15. Okay. That means then I don't have mushrooms. Do we have coffee? Oh, we do. Let's turn this on. Oh, coffee's in, boys. We got the coffees. And then, yeah, we got the number cruncher, but... Oh, I could turn this on at night. Yeah, because no one's going to be doing anything. So we're going to have enough power. Oh, what a meme. It works. <laughs> that actually works. So the wheel will power the number cruncher at night. Oh, dude. I wish I could set up a schedule for this. We need that. We need schedules for everything in this game. I want to be able to automate the number cruncher so when my beavers aren't running or using the buildings, it turns on. So that I get science at night, but not during the daytime when the people are actually producing. Dude, we need that, man. Schedules. Seasonal schedules. Day-night schedules for buildings, for production. Dude, that'd be nice, man. I would love something like that. Good evening. What's going on, x -Tool? How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Good evening. I've been watching this and like the style of the game and thinking to get it, but I can't imagine to figure out what you're doing at the moment. Ah, Jewel, ask the questions. And I got answers. Let me know, man. I'll work it out with you. For the most part, though, uh, this game is a cycle-based game. And it's not cycles like uh, Oxygen Not Included. What I mean when I say that is that you're going to have seasons, seasonal cycles. And they're going to rotate in and out. It's not a proper calendar season. It's basically sporadic weather. So you have a forecast. Uh, this is going to give you your weather for the upcoming days. In this time period, we're in normal weather. So in normal weather, we're doing good, right? We have water everywhere, growing the crops, right? And uh, the beavers are doing good. Plus 22 happiness, right? And we're going to be growing some trees. We've got different flavors of Kool-Aid. Everything is nice. Now, the problem is, is that later on, we're going to get something called a drought season or a bad water season. So our water comes from a mountain spring water source up top. And it spills downwards, right? That's how this works. All right, let me do this at one. So as a result, what happens is, is that 
uh, this water will eventually spill off the map and that spills off on this side. So what we do is we're just trying to top ourselves off so we always have water. Once we have water, we keep the ground fertile and green. When there's no water, it's going to look like this, right? The earth is going to be dry and all the plants and trees die. So the water is very important for the game. So in the seasons where this stops making water because it's a drought season, and then there's poisonous water right here. This is called bad water. This is red toxic water that while your beavers will get sick immediately upon touching it, you could actually pump it and then use it to craft stuff. All right, we're centrifuging the bad water to make something called extract. So all that is basically what you're going to want to do. You have to manage the water like a beaver. So you're going to have to manage dams. You're going to make levees, floodgates, and dams so that you could hold water when you need it. And when you have too much, it just overflows over. So that's the name of the game. You need to manage water. In our case, I just thought about, hey, why don't I just build the biggest wall in the world and then just make an ocean for myself? That way we could never run out of water. <laughs> simple, simple, right? So I actually didn't start here. I started on the side. We had to make a base and then we moved everyone over to the side. And the main thing is terraforming. You get dynamite. Dynamite lets you do this. Can I actually blow this up? I can. So this is terraforming. It lets you dig through and lets you mess around with the terrain. And then you could build solid blocks again so that you could actually, uh, you know, mess around with that. Once you do that, you're going to have the ability to effectively uh, mold the terrain. You could also build dirt blocks as well, right? Dirt blocks, terrain block. And then you use that to just survive. So you have to deal with the uh, cycles of regular water, drought periods, and bad water. So you have to make a, uh, like a flood system for that. In my case, I run a triple floodgate. And when it's good water, we open this up. This is currently open and it's flowing down. Hey man, how come this is not a... Uh... I guess we do a 1-5 here. That way the water steadies and it has to force this way. Hey man. How come the water doesn't want to spill? Alright man, we'll push this down to half. We'll do both, we'll do both. So yeah, just manage the water. Then it's outside of that, it's normal colony management. You have beavers, the beavers go to work. They chop wood, everything's made out of wood in this game. Well, no, you have metal, right? You get the mines. And then with the beavers, you build all the things they need. So food, they need water. And then depending on the situation, you might need, uh, you know, decontamination if you touch the poison. Or, uh, you know, there's oil they could make so that they could start fermenting stuff. And then you have to stockpile goods to survive the bad seasons. Another thing about this game is vertical building. So everything is an individual building and you could stack the buildings on itself so that you could have like weird levels. Like you see my staircase set up right there. And then there's like a lot of different elevation levels. There's a hallway in the middle. There's a floating hallway and there's another floating hallway. And everything's kind of like a maze so that the beavers get to where they need to get to. But yeah. That's the game. Let me know if you have questions. If you run out ores to the center of the, the map, uh, game will be great. And you'll be sorting 60 frames in the middle. There's a mod for that. There's a mod for everything. What's going on, Dragon Gawain? Welcome in. In late game, you can make artificial... Be oh, yeah, and there's robots. So that they basically are uh, beavers that work for you, and the beavers just kind of lounge around all day. <laughs> But yeah, the goal of the game is to make the beavers happy, give them everything in the game. And while the game is nice, I think it's missing, a, you know, a couple of dimensions. And then once it gets those dimensions, it's going to be an awesome time. Something feels weird here. Why is the water flowing out this way on priority? And it stops floating that way. Something's off. This should be 1-5, to be honest. All 
All right, so we're going to make it so that it flows this way with speed. And then I'll push this to half. So it's already flowing this way. Hopefully this doesn't... No, it's redirecting the water. No, dude. What the heck is that? And then this is going to drain? No. No. <laughs> Why has it got to be like this? All right, we'll push this down to one. Yeah, that's draining now at least. Okay, that's a little bit more even. 25, 26, nice. Doing good. I think they got coffee for the first time. We're out of coffee though. All right, it's daytime. Let's pause this. How is our wall? It's doing all right. Oh, we have some trees here now, so we can start cutting. Uh, let's go here and here. We'll turn this guy on as well. All right, so we need that. We need the triple bad water pump so that we could centrifuge. We're only centrifuging with one guy. Looks like we're okay though. Yeah, still low on explosives. Uh, those never got placed. How come I'm not making explosives? That was weird. It just felt like he wasn't making any. Yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Gotta drop a coffee, boys. I don't know why they drink it at night, dude. Shouldn't they be drinking this in the morning? It's nighttime, man. Why are they drinking coffee? Should be going to sleep. Water is getting low. I'm hoping that four pumps is going to be good. Yeah, I know, I know. Coffee's recreational. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to extend this out so we can add some more water pumps to the back. Uh, we'll do that. And then this is here. Okay, and then we got the triple single. Okay, so we got to make a new water pump zone. And we're going to pump from the same tiles. We're just going to flip them backwards. Actually, does that work? That doesn't actually change anything. Because <laughs> if I do this, I would still need to build another platform on the bottom. Okay, that's fine. There has been a suggestion for a Night Owl faction. That would be bad. So, so would that mean that they just get a bonus? Wait, I'm lacking workers? Oh, sh everyone died of old age just right now. What happened? Everyone just died of old age. Eight workers? Oh, dude. Five people injured? Oh, sh Everyone's hurt, dude. Oh, dude, did I get five people rolling an injury roll this morning? Goddamn. A five-man injury roll is kind of insane. Dude, ten people. <laughs> people are just getting hurt non-stop, man. Yeah, one builder hut's completely empty. The haulers are almost empty, too. Uh, snap. There are times where you have a little bit too much, and there are times where you have too little. Oh, your day starts at the night marker on the clock? Oh. Feels bad. 
13. Died of old age. Oh, that's three people died last two days. Can we get some people, you know, come into life? Alright, we're getting a couple of babies being born right now. <laughs> oh, man. And they're not babies. They're going to be born as adults. This is a breeding pod. They literally just spawn from the pod and just start walking. That's insane. <laughs> oh, man. They're born and they know how to walk. That's so good. All right. These guys are doing good so far. The water is there. Isn't being born an adult the worst? I don't know, man. It's weird. I would imagine you would have to pee a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, you ever seen Austin Powers? The first thing he did is like, yo, man, I got to pee. That's the first thing he said, man. Yo, man, I got to go, man. I got to pee. <laughs> All right, we're just demoing that because we don't need that platform. And then we could recover this. No childhood. That's true, man. Feels bad. That means that your drought red tide would start eight hours into your day. Oh, I see what you're saying. It sounds like a duplicate. It'd be like that sometimes. Dupes don't actually have a childhood. Yeah, that's true. There's no such thing as a baby dupe. That's actually really rare. The baby dupes. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Oh my god, we're out of gears. Alright, just make the gears, man. That's all we need. Borg mutation chamber. Oh man. But they're not cyborgs. They're hanging out like we are. Alright, we're going to pause the Builder's Hut. Oh, wait. Everyone just got... Dude, we just had four people born and then three people die immediately. Wow. That's balance right there. It's not like Thanos just came by and was like, Hey, man. I'm about to snap one time. And then I'm out this... Oh, I forgot to do this. Uh, Max, one, five, zero height, zero height. All right, so in Bad Tide, we still get power. Not even that. Being born and late for work at the same time. That's true. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got to get to work. Ah, oh, snap. Dude, that's messed up, man. You're born and late to work already. That is pretty messed up. And then that's a two. This is a triple triple. That's not bad. And then... And then I want to emulate this. There we go. There we go. And it's all flat. Nice. These are in. We got to Oh, he can't reach that one. And then from this side, we could do the tier one dynamite. That's not bad. All right, so this means we bop this, bop that, and we got to get the dynamite right there. All right, should be good. We'll have more space for our campfires. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so once we get this done, oh, is my water low? No, this is actually the height that I'm supposed to be at. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So we don't need to add water. Oh, I should have moved up the gate. That's fine. We're doing okay. 
So we need the explosives, no, no, the gears, and then we need to finish the wall, and then we'll have explosions now, and then we have a path here, right? Okay, so we need, dude, y'all see that? Mamba had a dream, woke up, and started hissing at nothing. <laughs> Mamba having the bad dreams, baby, you okay? Oh, no, man. Mamba's having the bad time. Dude, dude, I heard that. I was like, yo, man. Who's attacking the Mamba? No one attacks the Mamba who lives to tell the tale. Nobody does. So I was like, yo, man, whoever's doing this, man, that's a death wish. Just saying, man. All right, no stairs. We're just gonna go around. All right, he's okay. He's okay. Mom was fine. Gotta go, Viv, for sure. Take care of business, man. You gotta, you know, let the kids know you there. Whatever it is you gotta do, Viv. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the rain. And of course, hope you have a great week ahead of you. It's only Monday, man. So have a good one. We will see you next time. Yo, man, Mamba was mad aggro, dude. The little kitty cats. Uh, we will likely need to go upstairs here, though. And then we'll just go around. So, I think we're going to end up walling this part. And then that would mean that we use this floor. So, I should levy here. Yeah, this is probably smart as well. And then we're going to go up to here. I guess we do want to double. And then I want this path for the bottom. And then once we go to here, we want to bop this. So we want to not do the bottom level, but this level. So it flows backwards. So it's a three and a two. I think we'll do it like this. And the reasoning why is so that we can get a three wide river and then do it all at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that'll be the set for that. Hey, we have four beavers looking for jobs. You guys are going to be builders. Let's go. Oh, this is it. Nice. And then we got to do that right there. Okay. Number cruncher, power. We're providing more than we need at the cost of science. Uh, what can we turn off? Realistically, nothing. Everything needs to be on right now. I need gears for the bad water. I'm going to need more metal soon. And then pine resin. But that's over here. Oh. All my pines over here died. That's the one thing that kind of sucks about this. This is the reason why we're growing pines here. Is because the moment we get bad water season, they all die. <laughs> that's the thing that sucks about this. We're still able to try... Oh, I never put a tree cutting gig. Oh my god. Oh my god. These guys weren't working. Oh man. I forgot to put the tree cutting gig on this. Oh, dude. That's my bad. God damn it. I forgot about that. Oof. Oh, we can't reach the rest, I don't think. And then we would want dynamite. We could reach most of this. Let's get that just to reach out the dynamite. This is a better path going straight to it. 
Beavers injured, materials, all, oh, we're almost done. One side, let's go. Work it on this side, gonna get this ready. So it's gonna be this level, right? So this goes down, this goes down, and then this needs to get to that. So that's a minus two. So it's likely to be like that. And then everything else behind it should also be a minus two. And it looks like we will want to just walk through. Okay. I think we need to just dig a canal out with dynamite. It's probably the best thing to do. So we'll do a two, two setup like that. I think this works. And then from here, it's a one. I don't know if that works. Because I'm basically carving down a lower segment. I guess we'll have to go with it. So these make sense. We get the path coming out that way. These two don't. I might be able to do it from the top though. So to go directly to the bottom might be a little bit tough. Oh, uh, yeah. This would help. Alright, lot to build for that. And I do want to add some walls here, I think. So we can have like a straight path and not have that like fan out. That's going to be bad, I think. Dude, immediately four people die. Bad tight ends, nice. So we got to wait for all the uh, bad water to get pushed out. There's a little bit of colliding in the middle, so we got to push this up. So all this bad water pushes out that way. This water is being held. That's not good. Let's just flow it out. All right, that's dried up. That's not bad. You're doing that to stock the bad water? No, 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 that's a power source. That's a power source. <laughs> that's a power source. So we're going to be putting wheels here. So since the water is going to be going downhill, well, the speed of the water is going to be pretty good. And then we're going to use that speed of the water to generate uh, water wheels. Kind of like that. Now, the reasoning why I want to do that is because the tribe I'm playing, the Iron Teeth, they have a very, very good upside. And that's this bad water discharge seals a bad water source that you could open or close at will when open it maintains bad water flow even during droughts so when a drought season happens we lose power because there's no more water happening right here so by putting a dome on it we get to control the bad water source and then if i flow it backwards i get more power wheels and then I'll be able to have power from the water wheels all season long. So that way we'll be able to always have power that we don't have to rely on the seasons for. So this is going to be supplemental power. This is going to be constant power. So the bad water is going to be used for that. So the main reason is because the dome in and of itself allows me to have water flowing even during a drought. So that's going to be the main advantage for us. And why we're actually going to be trying the strat. Building this out. And then we need to do the dynamite on the side. Oh, this is done. Nice. We'll finish the dynamite on the side first, though. Because it's on this side. We got to do this. Wait. Here. Here? Here. Dino mine. Let's go.
and I could reach everything? I can. Nice. So we're going to level this down so that we could start building stuff on this. On one of my long-running playthroughs, I have a 40k HP permanent uh, power with those. Hey, 40,000 horsepower, dude. That's insane. That is insane. That's a lot, man. Were you playing on the spiral map? I feel like that map's going to be where you get the most power. <laughs> There's a map where the water source is at like the highest point in the middle. And then it spirals downhill. Yo, man. Oh, it was on terraces. Oh, okay, okay. Terraces is not bad. There's a lot of hills on that one. I forget the name of the spiral one, though. I want to say I know, though, but I don't really know. Alright, I should do this, right? Make this priority. I feel like. We should try to make that priority. Because it's like, we could get more water pumps, but that only makes it so that we get more food. <laughs> so it's like, building this is not that lucrative. We're just going to double up our pumps so that we could start doing the hydroponic farm. Looks like this would be better, though. I probably would want some walls on the side, but we're also having it so that there is going to be like a riverbank by causing like a canal. That's going to be the strat right here. And I think we're going to control this with floodgates. Realistically, it doesn't really make sense, but I think it works. Now, the upside, small upside, if I flow backwards the water, I don't get the cracks on the side. <laughs> it's a very minor pickup, right? All these red cracks on the green, I'd be able to plant stuff on it if it mattered. I don't think it will, though. Can you make the water good? No, that's actually what I'm hoping they add in with the new uh, tribe. Because there's two beaver tribes. The first one is a very green friendly. The second one is the one we're playing very science heavy. Where they uh, are willing to uh, pollute for science and a little bit more industrial. I want the third one to be someone that could actually clean the bad water. That's what I want to see. Like, give them a gathering plant, kind of like how they have dandelions for the folktales, and add that with the bad water to filter it into good water. Something, something crazy like that. It doesn't have to be dandelions. But it's like, that's the, that's the idea. <laughs> that's the idea, man. We need something like that, man. And then that way, it's like, they would play a lot differently than the other races. Because the way you utilize the bad water, it's so different. Which would be actually, like, very lucrative, I think. That'd be really nice to have as a, an option. Or, or, hear me out. Either you filter the bad water, or you allow the third tribe to consume the bad water. With a double-edged sword effect. Right? So you would look for something like... Bad water gets you sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd you get stranded? Oh, they boxed you up. You're free, man. You're free. There we go. Mm, nice. Use the bad water for free oxygen. <laughs> that kind of works too. Dude, I want a third tribe. So bad water gives you a uh, modifier, right? Because you're contaminated. And then it basically makes it so that you can't really work. They need to make it so that the tribe gets a weird bonus. Where they get that same downside effect but they have a bonus that's double of the downside that's positive so it washes it and gives you a buff but 
make it so that if these beavers are constantly drinking bad water, they die right out. So you have to make it so that they will drink the bad water on intervals. <laughs> That's so evil, though, because you don't have schedules in this game. So you're going to have to micromanage the shit out of that tribe. And that does not sound like a good time. <laughs> oh, man, dude, that sounds like a nightmare. Real talk, man. That sounds like a nightmare. You're going to have to make it so that, okay, today we're going to be drinking the bad water. Tomorrow? I don't know. We think about it. Now the trees are back, planting the trees. Tea water. This is the only world pre explosion. Yo, man. So you're saying that the dupes. Dude, that'd be a wild secret. We find out that the world we were living at as humans was not ruled by humans. That would be insane. That would be really insane, man. Like, to, to make that realization. Dude, imagine hips ruled the world. And we didn't know that. And then we find the evidence that the pips used to rule the world. Dude, that'd be crazy. In the Oni universe. Have you ever read H Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, I haven't. I have heard good things about the book, though. But I can't say I have uh, read the said book. No. I can't say I have. I've heard good things about it, though. Just can't say that it was me. I think we will flatten this, although I don't think it's necessary, because I think we'll just hold water. Although that might drain, right? That's it. That is what I'm a little bit worried about. I guess we'll add a couple of uh, flatness to that. Ah, to speak in a way that doesn't really spoil anything, yet those who have read it will understand. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Aw, oh, shit. So... There is a popular saying that give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man how to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime. So it sounds like you learned how to fish by reading the book. Can I tell you that I don't like fish? Like I'm just not a fan of the taste. I can't be eating fish, man. Uglar Visk likes the fish. I see over there, Uglar Visk. I, I can't be doing the seafoods, though. Can't be doing the seafoods. All right, bad water season is over. We're chilling. Water's back. Gates are closed. Water's being managed. All is good in our part of the world. And then we got most of the wall done. I can't believe we got that much done already. I also do think we're going to want to add uh, tiles here. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be kind of nice to have. So we want to get to this, and then it's one, two. Ooh, maybe we might do all that. I want to add that in so it doesn't have the initial red water pocketed. But I don't know if that actually matters, like, because it's always going to be running. <laughs> Right? So, like, that might be in the grand scheme of things just pointless. Yeah, it is. Thinking about it. Right? Because we will always be running the water. So it shouldn't matter. And then we just anchor it to the right spot and we should be okay. Dude, I'm thinking we might need platforms on the side, depending on how the wheel works. 
right? Because we need two space deep. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh, weird. Oh, this is in. Ah, uh, how much of everything can we make? Yeah, there's a couple of these levels, dude. I'm able to build this layer and the bottom layer from this tile path. Yeah, wow. So if I click on this building. Dude, yeah, look at that. From the bottom, I could build the top layer. From this, I could build the bottom layer. From the top, I could build the bottom. Yeah. So the only layer I won't be able to build is down here. But once this is built, I'll be able to reach all of the bottom and then all of this. We actually could build all of the stuff here. Wow. Okay. Not even that. Okay, we got a drought coming. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. So in a drought season, we'll have water here. As long as we don't run out and the trees die from drying out, we'll be okay. Okay, okay. Working on the explosions on this side, the bad water, the coffee. Yeah, extracts, coffee, bad water, canola oil. All right, so what we need is algae and mushrooms. And that's going to be the next thing we'll need. Platform's about done. Uh, we've never really needed water. All right, let's actually start dealing with this then. Oh, four people just died? Yeah, we have some job openings. We should wait. Mushrooms and algae. Uh, I guess we could build the other farm. Just because we know we're going to need it. We wanted this design. Oh, since we have platforms on the low section... Oh, I should look at this. Uh, how was this set up? Oh, okay, it's right here. Here we go. So it's like that. Okay, so we have two pockets right here. We can put something in. So well-being... Can I put the medical bed? I can't. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Four people just died. Looks like we got some job openings. Yo, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. You gotta treat the beavers like that sometimes. Because it's like, man. This is how we're growing beavers? Like it's Captain America, dude. You know what I'm saying? We're growing six Captain Americas. That's, that's effectively what we're doing right now. Gotta let them work, though. Alright, so the wood is somewhat okay. We're constantly using the wood for the levees. That's all it is for the levees. Just pure logs. And we're missing builders. Uh, Alright, let's bop. So that the haulers are going to be the ones missing. That should be fine. Scrap metal is out. Okay, let's continue scrapping then. We wouldn't need this. And then once this is done... Oh yeah, this guy's been here. Let's cancel that guy. We'll keep the number cruncher on. And then we're missing three people on that side still. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh, mud bath. Oh, this requires power. Oh, shit. Not like this. Oh, I can't have it here then. So the idea with these 2x2 two two spots was for the mud bath. Oh, this requires power. Aw, oh, dude. What a travesty. That means I can't place that in. Because we're not going to generate power here. <laughs> that sucks. What else can we have here then? Hmm. 
we are missing the roof bonus. Uh, I guess we'll just put the platforms. These are all single levels, I think. Yeah, not really able to do too much with that then. That sucks. Why do I think that didn't need power for some reason? Like, dragging power to here is going to be a nightmare. So I don't want to do it. Um, dude, there needs to be a way to give power to a building on top of a platform. That's actually, I don't think we have that, huh? Because you could go under, but you can't give it directly to the tile above. I feel like that would make power in this game so much better. Because since you can't do that, you can't run like a clean power line under the buildings. Dude, that'd be really nice. I'm gonna be honest. Having power actually maybe automatically give power to above it. If it was under a building. Especially a platform. Maybe I'm asking for too much though. But I feel like that would be really nice. And people are dying of old age. Seven people looking for jobs. That's not a good look. That is not a good look right now. <laughs> Building lacking materials. Yep, I know, I know. We got it, we got it. Waiting for the explosions. Waiting for the bomb squad. Waiting for the logs on the side. This is also priority. I guess we might have too many woodcutters at the moment then. Let's pause a couple. We'll pause that guy. I have these two there. Then we have four haulers. Oh, the bottom one is on. And then this one, once it's done, we're going to pause that as well. Okay. Pause, pause, pause. Five people. Yeah, it's not too bad so far. We are using the extract water. Five more days of a drought. Hopefully they'll actually handle it. Oh, the water here is a little bit sketch. If I want to add it to there, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, and then this is getting low. Aw, oh, snap. We're going to drain from the mangroves. Oh, should I actually add another false wall here? Maybe we'll do that. That way we could keep the mangroves up all day every day. Dude, I don't have enough wood for that yet. I'll have to do that project after this project. Because I'm pumping water on this side, which means my mangroves die first out of everything on the map. That's not good. So I think we're going to do like a wall like this to hold in a little bit of water by the uh by the land i think we're gonna be we're gonna have to do that and for the most part hmm do it to here and replace this wall i wouldn't mind that and then that frees that up maybe we grow mangroves along here as well Ooh, that would be kind of sweet i guess that really might be the play um, how much is the dirt excavator? How much power is this? 200, okay. I might actually just isolate this. Run f three beavers to push a power wheel. And then just give the dirt excavator its own little sequence. Another thing is that this is a top side entrance. That's so annoying. Just born. Okay. And this one is paused because it's nothing is being run through. 22. We should try to go up to 25. Uh, yeah. We should just wait. I'm thinking about building the first statue, though. The laborer monument. Put it right here. Actually, I think it like this spot was probably the best spot. Because every house would be within range. 
every house would be within range. We just, I guess we have the wood for this. All right, can't reach, okay. So that does mean we need to get this set up. And then they have to go up this way to that way. Okay, so very likely that's a roof, that's a roof. That means this is rooftop terrace. We could do it this way. Yeah, then we'll do that. I guess we could do another roof right here. And then we do another rooftop terrace. Oh. Uh, that's tough because of that staircase, huh? I guess that means this has to be a medium warehouse. And then that's one, one, two. And then that's a two. And then that's a one. And then that's a staircase, right? So that would mean, yeah, this would have to be a medium warehouse like that. Or like this. Ooh, which is probably the play. Then we get that. Then we get this. And then this goes upstairs. And technically, we'll go like that then. And then this is like a weird spot. I probably have to put a roof here. Or this is probably has to be a platform double stair. And it goes like that. This is a two by two. This goes up top. Okay, that's fine. And we do a two by two roof right here. That might be the clock, actually. Oh, the clock is a one tile. Oh, that's amazing. Got to get the clock tower. Uh, we'll get one of these in. None of these are actually two by two buildings, huh? Bell is not. I imagine it would be. And then extra size plaza. That's large. This is no power though. That's really nice. Dude, that sucks. Yeah, we got nothing up here. That would have to be like a weird statue of a monument. Oh, the Flame of Unity. That would be better on this roof right here. Not gonna lie. That's so good right here. That covers the path on the far left. That's what I want. All right, and then it's just debris right there, which is fine. All right, this will be a roof then. Let's get two by two. Just like that. All right, so that was a drought. So now we just get water. Everything should be okay. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Yeah, nothing got adjusted. The mangroves are still actually growing, so nothing bad's going on. Coffee's good. All the beans. We could generate more water. Ooh, 
we're gonna put this in but not actually have it for anything like we're gonna build it but we're just not gonna turn it on and then still waiting on the monuments oh this warehouse never got built for anything um bot limbs gears Ooh, explosions mangrove fruits we have dude we have storage for everything yeah let's do the explosives then that means we will turn that off so we have extra storage so it looks like we will want to put something on the side so that's gonna be a double plat it's very likely just gonna be a storage large warehouse Right? Should be fine, should be fine. How are we on this side? Dude, that's almost done. Man, this is almost done. That one, these four. And then everything down here is reachable by this. Dude. We're actually doing it, dude. I guess we could start setting up the second part on this side. Because we have to tr uh, dynamite this. <laughs> we have to dynamite this. So this level right here, we would need to dynamite. Especially where that platform is. That's not good. All right, we'll wait. Does it, I don't think we'll be able to do this today. All right, so guys, I think this is going to be a good spot for us to wrap things up for the night. But we got it all, man. We're doing great. We're going to start getting all the good stuff in. Let's get an exercise plaza real fast. It's going to be awesome. So we are at 26, 25 well-being. We have most of the foods. We got to turn on the hydroponic farms for the last remaining two. We got to turn off the water pumps too. Way too much water. And then with the water pumps, we'll be able to support the hydroponic farms. We'll have to do a outline right here. And I also want to do some dirt digging so we could expand some of the farms. Realistically, our food farms are fine. If anything, it's going to be the mangroves that we're going to extend. And then we're going to wall up for them so that we have a nice little setup for that. So that might mean that I might redo some of the platforms here. So we could drag out the water from here. And then that way, the water could just float through. And I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what I would do. Dude, 29, 30. We're just going up all the way to the ceiling, dude. 31, dude, can't stop, won't stop. Why is everyone's well-being so high right now? Wait, 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 I didn't even give them anything. Wait, 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 wait. What did we give them? Oh, the statue, goddamn. Statue is that many points? Dude, that's a 2.9 wellness. Wow. And then we're going to get the other one soon. Flame of Unity. So what we added was the monument, this roof side terrace. That probably gives you a rooftop bonus. Just because I'm walking by this. Wait, I shouldn't be getting that much though. I thought it was this that gave it to me. But I was like, wait, this is not even built. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Guys, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed some Timberboard today. The beavers are doing great. The area is coming together. And we might want to... Uh... Man. So, we have this. Right? What we could do that's kind of weird is instead of having the water overflow from here we could have the water overflow to here and then hold the water 
and extend kind of like where the water comes from. And then there's this that we could technically wall off and let all the bad water exit this way and we could add water here. And then we'd be able to live down here. We wouldn't need to though. Let's be like excessive. There's a lot more of the map that we just haven't touched because this is a large map. But yeah, it's going to be great. Our area, we know what we need to do. We're doing the uh, red water reroute on the side. And then we're going to do the uh, half wall over here. And then after we do all that, we're going to get bots. We're going to do some excavation on that side. And then from there, we'll see. We'll hopefully be able to do all the well-being levels. Let's get that saving.